Oh man, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a minute. Been a minute, hey, bro. Hey, yo, it's been so long, man. Hopefully, you guys seen that trailer, bro. We got. Oh man, it's fucking dope as shit. I know that came from this dude's brain. Yeah. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, we missed y'all and we're sorry. We missed we're this back. shit for real. Yo, we got new mics. Yeah, look at this Brand shit. Brand new. Facts. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen. I actually got headphones on. Jason's nose got right bigger. Now. Shit's nuts, bro. We been, bro, we got so Vic much to tell got you guys. Bigger, but not with height. Hey, yo. <laughs> nah, but I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, it's been we got so much to talk about. We it's got been so much too long, to discuss. Sure. It's been and too it's long. been too long. But today, ladies and gentlemen. We got an amazing, amazing. guest. Straight oh from man, Chelsea, bro. straight from Chelsea, Mass. 02150. This dude's yes. been making nothing but noise, bro. The loudest noise out here, bro. This man is beasting and feasting, working hard every day. More than fucking, what do you say? A thousand songs in the vault, bro. Yes, sir. This man is working, ladies and gentlemen. Working. He got every some of the most the creative studio. music out here in the game, bro. I'm telling you, and I'm so proud that he's from a city I love so much in Chelsea, bro. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm more than excited. I'm more than honored. To have this guy be the guest that we we come back to, come back to the messy room with. It was with. meant to be. It was it's, meant to be. Yo, I have the honor of introducing my boy, Donald Grunge. Oh, man. What's going on, bro? How are you? How you Let's feeling, Let's go. Man? What's good, bro? Good, bro. How y'all doing? Yo, doing bro. Right, doing I'm right. doing well. Yo, bro. I just want to say appreciate you, man. The crazy ass idea we pulled and we did right. that whole trailer. Yo, bro. that yeah. shit was fun, right? That shit it was, was a good time. Bro. I like yeah. I like it. I, I want to get into acting. So that was... Yeah, bro. Ahead. Oh, man. Yo, I'm telling you. Bro, Jason gave us the the he gave he told me that idea, bro, right? And we we were like discussing like who 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 should do the fucking who should be the villain, bro? Who should be that guy, bro? Yeah. And bro, Jason was like, bro, there's no one else that could do it other than Donald Grunge. Yo, you know you know what got me to think that that yeah. that's why because of that video, money talks, bro. You just look like you you're fucking epic in that shit, like bro. Yo, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to be in movies, so if y'all watching, I'm saying you want to hire me for a movie. Yo, right. I'm telling this man's let the next know, ben Affleck, know. bro. This you man's really? the next Denzel. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Yo, you me? yo, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, in the intro, this man has been making nothing but noise, bro, and he got a crazy ass project in Gleam. I trust, bro. Yes, sir. Yo, bro, t tell us about the project, bro. Tell us about the journey of the project and just overall, bro, like how did it feel to just finally like take a breather and drop that shit, Man. bro? Man, I mean, when you when you make when you make a project of any sort, you know, whether it's music or yeah. film or whatever, it's always like one of your kids, you know what I'm saying? So when when you let it go to the world, it's like when they first turn 18, it's like this is my product. You feel yeah. me? Like yeah. this is my child. Like yeah. let's see what he, he or she does. Like mm -hmm. so I think I was just very proud of myself and my team definitely and just the the project and and all you know just, yeah. it just felt good to drop it and just have people hear it and the feedback i'm getting is good you know it's only been like a week and a half but yeah i've only i've only got good feedback you know what i'm saying i haven't heard anything too wait crazy. so does that mean you're like we're the first place you're talking about the project on absolutely hey oh, yo, that's an honor bro that's yes, an honor bro Yo, yes, it took sir. a minute to put together, though, right? You, you say it took, like, three years for you to drop that shit? Well, I, I haven't dropped the project in about three years, but that specific project in Glee My Trust, it took me about, like, a year and a half. I think I made the first song in 2019 off the project, which was uh -huh. So Sorry. So that Sorry, yeah. That first, that's the first song on the album, right? Yeah, it was the yeah. first song I made off the project, um, and that was in 2019. So it's been a little bit, but it was really mostly we just... Me and my manager and my team just doing the groundwork, you know, mm -hmm. like the rollouts and what we want to do with the tape and, you know, how we want it to sound, how we want to place things, trimming the fat, too many tracks, you know, too less, mm. like just yeah. going through trials and tribulations. But it's been done for about like six months, seven months, you know, like it's been done. It's just, we just getting it right. So six, seven months and you don't drop shit. So you say you were working with your manager, right? So like, what, what are you doing? I know you, you got two managers, right? Yeah, I got two managers. Yeah, El Elton and, and Q. And Q. Yep. Q. I I know. I seen Q. Like I was looking into Q because I seen that he was like a popular dude. Hell yeah. I known a lot. So like, how did Q help you get all that shit together and help you get the project out? Um, he is really just the best manager, bro. Yeah, like, right. He just does. He looked like a beast. He does a lot for me, bro. Like he um. He's been in this game for a while. You know what I'm saying? He's been mm -hmm. doing this shit. You know this music shit like in a whole not even just managing just as a whole like inside yeah. the music business for like about 10 years now like you know what i mean almost 12 like wow. practically like that. that in the game you feel me so you know he's like he grew up with mac you know what i'm saying he worked with mac you know he's from he's from pittsburgh and shit so he's been around so many stars like wiz and mm -hmm. you know people like that so mad I think, people mad people. i think he's just very knowledgeable to this shit and yeah. like 
he knows that I'm mostly trying to focus on the art of it. I'm mm-hmm. not trying to focus on, well, grunge, you need a rollout. Or, well, grunge, you need this, you need that. Like, I'm just more so like, yo, Q, I got this music. Yeah. What do I do with it? You yeah. know what I mean? And he helps me from there. And it's it's a good teamwork. It's a good chemistry. You know what I'm saying? He's He understands the work side the most, and I understand the music. And we give our certain inputs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, know nah, I mean? you definitely, bro, I could, I could definitely say, I, bro, having a great team, like, Around you, it bro it works wonders. Like bro, my yeah. boy right here, bro. This boy, this man keeps me accountable and shit like that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like you, got you know when I'm fucking slacking or some shit. Yo, bro, what are you doing? This and that. So like having a great team. I'm always I saying, yo, you don't take this shit serious, bro. Yeah. I'm just saying that. Uh, bro, I'm telling you, man. Like that's just it's like essential, bro. I think it's yeah, like essential bro. for success, bro. Yeah, because if you can't take that, then you're not supposed to. You're not cut off for this. It's yeah, not, that's fine. That's fine. Be- so what I was thinking was right. So. So you you say he's on the management side and all the rollout because like for for us I feel like sometimes like I I be struggling with the like you know I want to focus on producing this shit like right we made that video that shit was mad fun I you know I was trying to get everything in the way and I you saw to the get. director skills of this now, right. you see me oh, trying to put putting these stuff. mics together I like this part I like the part of trying to the production like the production of right. it right of course. but then it's it's like that part where you're trying to like. You know, focus on social media and grow. Yeah. Like that's just the that's the like you could be the best artist, but if nobody's fucking looking your direction, like who who the fuck cares, right? Mm-hmm. So like, I feel like that's the hardest part, and you got that, you know, for, out of cue. Right. So like, I, I like for for us, you know, like you know, a little secrets for us. Like, what do you think that he's helped you with most to try to like you know, I boost think yourself up? Just in all, just to helping me develop as a real like i want to say real artist but like a better artist you know yeah. like he's helping me develop a lot because he's showing me things you know that i have never done you know what i mean or like pointing them out like if i do something and i'm not aware of it because a lot of the times i just go in the booth and i just make music you yeah. know what i mean like i'm not worried about and you're in there every day too you right feel me? yeah so i'm not worried about this is a hit this is not like i'm just making music mm. and he'll go back like you know you should switch up this a little bit but this hook right here mm. You know what I mean? Like, and it's like, he's just slowly getting me into this, like, it's like making a beast. You know what I mean? Like, he's just like, he's He's taming you right now. Yo, literally, like, he's just turning me into like a beast, bro. And I, and I, I see it, you know what I mean? But so that's why I trust his judgment. And when he got to say something to me, you know, I just take it into consideration. Like, yeah, he's probably right. You know what I mean? Like, Mm. and then of course I put my own twist onto things or like if you know what I mean he tells me something I'm like alright I'm gonna do that but I'm gonna do it in my own way type shit yeah so, so he gives you a lot of constructive criticism a lot right? of constructive criticism He's, it's like all around for real like he really does a lot like mm. yo uh, definitely a question I have bro is like yo so the, the music you make bro is mad unique bro and it's just like thank you turnt bro that shit's yeah. like a force bro you know what I mean like honey sip bro you know ah. what I'm saying like it's just it's just like yeah. crazy bro so like what like what was it about like the music that you make that made you want to make that music that makes sense like like why do you make the music you make bro like in how in the, in the way you That's do a good it question bro. i think um i think me as a person just without the music i'm a very energetic person okay right. when it comes to just like i mean i could be shy and i can you know the artist shit like you're shy and that social yeah, yeah, yeah. but when i'm with friends i'm with good people my energy's always high i'm always you know, ready to do something. Like, ready, you're like trying to go do like, something. Do something you know stupid, I mean? right? So I think I I put that in my music very well. It's like that's why all of my music's very like upbeat or like high pitch or whatever. And then like, but it's like also kind of melancholy because it's like I could be talking about some sad shit, but I'm singing it in a high pitch. So it's like that's like that stone heart. You feel me? Yeah. Niggas is like, I don't know, you know what I mean? If he's sad or not, but this is banging. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? So it's like, shit. That's that's really what what it's come to is, is I just think I just I just put all my energy that I really have, you know what I mean? Like yeah. into the music and I just get lit music. Yeah. Yeah. Would you ever do like 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 a like more melodic, you know, mono- I can't say that word. Melodic? Melodic. Yeah, like more like, you know, like singing you know like kind of like yeah i mean Johan Lennox, something like that hell you know, yeah lines. hell yeah i definitely make that shit already you know what i mean i mean you can go to certain tracks on my soundcloud and, and see that you know i feel like that's what i am most of melodic yeah. rather than you know lyrical or I'm not saying i don't have good lyrics like but i'm more of like a poet when i write my shit i'm okay. not more of like a you know bar 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 like crazy you know what i mean like yeah. uh like a kendrick i'm not i'm not like a kendrick i'm yeah. more of like 
a fucking young thug. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Nah, I, could tell, I definitely could see that. I could he's see gonna that. say some oh, shit that you're that. gonna be like, did he just say that? Like, yeah. that's kind of crazy. Yo, that like, young thug. Yeah, you what's, what's one of the young thugs body always got me dead? Like, I just put, I just put my cum in a pussy. Now with sweat. Like, yo, what the fuck is he saying? But I'll be like, yo, <laughs> and that's the whole thing about it. It's like that. I have fun. That's the most important thing I tell people. Like, you gotta have fun with this shit. You gotta really have fun because if you're not having fun bro like it just drains all of it out of you like you don't want to do it you're just like yeah. you because that happened to me like i was i was having too much fun with the shit and then i was like i gotta get serious like yeah. and when i started getting serious like i realized there has to be a balance between serious and having a good time because if you're not having a good time at all you're just not gonna want to do it and if yeah. you know what i'm saying and if you're having too much fun, you might get lost in the sauce. And, and you're, not, you're not taking, you're, you're not, not taking producing shit. That's, that's facts. a bar, bro. That's a bar. Bro. That's facts, bro. That that's, facts. that's crazy. Yo, thinking about it, bro. You 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 do have some knowledge. Bro, Bob Marley, bro, the song, yeah, bro. Yeah. Yo, I was like, yo, this shit's crazy. I listened to it. I, I feel like, like that a majority of that tape is very melodic, you know, like yeah. Rated R Superstar, hmm. um, Guitar Grunge. Yeah, 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 yeah. That song was one know. take, bro. Yeah, it's Freestyle, our... off the top. Wow. Didn't write not one word, bro. That's I heard crazy. the beat for 20 seconds. Shout out to Maka. He literally played the beat 20 seconds. Boop. And you just dun, went dun, in? Dun, dun. Oh, I was like, yeah, nah, open the booth. Actually, like, yo, yo. Talk, talking about that project. So on that project, you had mad different types of producers, right? You yeah. like Every song was produced by somebody different. I tried to do that on purpose. Yeah, sure. but now in this project, it, most of it's produced by one person, right? Yeah, exactly. So, so what, what was the switch? Why you do that? I think when I did Cowboy Talk, I was trying to show everyone, not just the city, but just everyone, anyone, um, my versatility and just, you know, I I liked that Nas dropped the album, um, Illmatic, I think it was, um, that every song was a different producer. Yeah. And he, he, he would say it because he would want to show you that any beat you give him, any producer you give him. He's versatile. He's he versatile. Hmm. Yeah. So... With Cowboy Talk as a whole, like the concept, the vocals, the beats, the everything, I wanted to show people that I could do anything type shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I could do anything, fucking whatever. Yeah. yeah I like could do anything. You, you know what I mean? Like, beats, you got, like, I could do R&B. I could do rap. I could do yeah. pop. I could do country. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, And I try to put it all on one tape. You yeah. know what I mean? And then with that being said, I was like, fuck it. Let's get a different producer for every track. So it's like... All right, this nigga's really has a new vibe every time and is making it sound like a banger. So like, he must be good at this shit. So shit, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. And that's what I wanted Cowboy Talk to capture, and it did. It got the whole city's attention. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. And, and and you was on like lyrical lemonade and everything. Yeah. Things like you were getting put on by mad people. Mm -hmm. And then this new project, that shit was produced by by Zay, right? Yup. It was so majority of it was Zay, um, and then Kenny Prosper, which is he's in Gleam. He's a producer. Okay. He's dope as fuck. He did O two one five O. Yeah. He did Money Talks. Oh, okay, um, okay. That's that. What that's else did he do? Sure. I think he might have just did those two. I can't think off the top of my head right now, but um, and then I had one producer from Lynn. His name's actually Els. Okay. I used to Els. work with him like 2016. I was making his shit. I was making shit with him early, early. But he, had, I had came back from vacation like the first time from LA. When I came back here, um, I linked up with him and I made Stoneheart. And then that's when I was like, yeah, this is going on the tape type shit. Yeah. So, like, that's when I already told y'all, like, I've been here for 10 months. You know what I mean? And that was the first time I came back home to visit since I've been living there. So, and that's when I made Stoneheart. So, it can, oh, from Cali, from Cali. Yeah, yeah so you, you can see, Cali, like, yeah. how long I've had these songs. You feel me? Because that was, like, what, eight months ago? Nine yeah. months ago I made yeah. Stoneheart? Like, maybe even 10? Mm. So, so, what's the process of, like, because you, you say you got, like, thousands of songs in the chamber you know so what's the process of like this is the song that's going on or like this is the song that's getting cut out like what's that process look like that weeding out process man it's a lot i mean me and my manager will sit down you know and we'll just be like all right let's make playlists let's make different playlists let's make an r&b playlist let's make a country playlist let's make a hyper pop playlist let's make a rap playlist let's make a no auto-tune playlist okay. like i have all of these in my computer you know let's make and then we just start sorting the songs you know what i mean from going through my phone, going through my phone, like I show y'all, it's, it, it's overwhelming. My man, <laughs> like this is all my music, hey, yo. Oh, that's crazy. Like it goes that shit's on, lagging, bro. That's just dead ass lagging. <laughs> and on and on, like my notes is forever, bro. So we just sit there, bro, and we just really like 
once we get into playlists, we're like, all right, what songs like we hear people going crazy for? You know what I mean? It's just that whole. You know what I mean, how, how you think it would go down is how it goes down. We separate the songs. You know what I mean? We find the best ones and then we go from there. Okay, cool. cool. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking nuts, bro. I was thinking because I'm I'm thinking right as if I was an artist, I make a song. I don't know. I, it might be the ego, but I'm like, man, yeah, I made this shit, shit fire, bro. Dropping you know what it. I'm saying? Yeah, I'm dropping it, but. I guess there's like a there's a deeper process where you're yeah. weeding it out and things like that because yeah. obviously you know you said you got a thousand something in the chamber with thousands of songs but you only dropped was it ten songs eight songs on the on the, on the project the newest project yeah, uh, yeah it was eleven 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 yeah, yeah. so like that, that's what I'm saying like so you, you like, do you not like the other songs <laughs> you know what I mean? like what the fuck I mean I'm I'm very much a perfectionist so I think. It's not that I don't like the songs. A lot of the songs that I do like that haven't came out yet, I feel are timeless. So like like you like like you guys are saying, like you guys don't even know when I made and Glean My Chest, right? Yeah. It's a year old. Yeah. Same shit with the other music. You're not gonna know when I made it, mm-hmm. when I put it out, because you're gonna be like, This is just some grunt shit. Like it it's sounds pretty new, new to stuff. me. Yeah, because it came out officially, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like I think when when I was younger, like I think I used to be on that. Like I'd make a song like this is coming out next week yeah because like, i'm excited you know yeah I mean? and you but think it's fire obviously you think right? it's fire you're excited you're like fuck i'm dropping this song like you know what i mean and you don't really know what you got going for yourself until you really do you know what i'm saying like i, I realized like all right i gotta start paying attention to what i drop because i'm actually good you know yeah. what i'm saying i could actually change my life with this shit so like let me be precise when I drop something, like, let me make mm. sure it's going to be the like right chess, thing. Like right, a chess move. You're right it time, out. right date, right mm-hmm. everything. I make sure it's all right. I make sure it's all it's all in the wow. right place. Like, timing is everything for me. You know what That's I mean? That's crazy, so, bro. I can have the songs, but I'm just not as eager to put them on. Unless I know it's something that's like, all right, this got to go right now. Like, it's... This is this song is... This is its time. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I have songs that, like, oh, you could drop this in five years. It'll be all right. Mm. Like, I have songs that we should have dropped this three years ago. For real? It's probably never going to come out. You feel yeah, me? Like, okay. I got songs like that too. Like, oh yeah, it's too old. Like, you could, just about the way I'm talking, my mannerisms on the song, like, what I'm talking about. Like, you could just tell it's an older song. It's like, it's weak. I mean, but there's certain songs that should be right in the moment. And you should yeah. be like, yeah, those. I, I, got a, I got a question. So let's say like, because you said, you know, you trust you trust Q, bro. You manage it, yeah. bro. You trust him with with everything. What if like, there's a song where you're like, yo, this is, this, this, this is the shit. But then he's like, Hey, I don't know, grunge that, man. That's, that's funny you say that. So, like, bro. so you know what I mean. So, like, what, what is it? Is it your your last stand or what? I mean, yeah, it's always my. It's always what I say. You know what I mean? It's my music. Mm. So, and and he is not on some shit. Like, it's what I. You know what I mean? Like, he understands that. Like, he tells me that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, at the end of the day, this is your music. If you want to put out this song tomorrow, I got. I'm not gonna do anything but help you mm. put it out and what and tell you what you gotta do to put it out. Mm. But. I take his input, like, so, you know what I mean? It's important to me. So when he tells me, like, Grunge, this song's cool, but it's not the one, unless I strongly feel like, yo, um, Q, you're tripping, like, this is this is the one, yeah. then I'm going to be like, honestly, I can feel you, but like, tell me why. You're going to tell me why, and then mm-hmm. I'm going to go back and fix it, or I'm just going to keep going. But yeah. we just talk we just talk it out, you know? Um, Just like how y'all would, you know what I mean? The script is whack, or like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what if I did this instead of this? It's yeah. like shit like that. Like we just try to get it work it, work through it together. Cause it's like at the end of the day, you know, we're gonna be working together. So we gotta make it worth both of our mm. whiles. Like you know what I'm saying, I, I want songs that he likes to come out, and I want songs that I like to come out. Makes sense. But I think the difference between um, you as an artist and, and us is because, like like you said, you have the last say. But in terms of us, we kind of have to agree on everything. Right, because we're a team. It, yeah, like we got equal parts of a team. Yeah, too. like so, like you right. know, for example, like let's say I wanted like a guest on. Yo, I think this person would be dope. This dude, eh, I don't know. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. And I kind of got, I can't like, yo, fuck you, Jay, bro. Yo, right, fuck, of course, it's of gonna course. happen because then he could easily just be like, I ain't sitting next to you and interviewing this dude. You know what I'm right. saying? So I think that's a little different because this is kind of like a fifty fifty thing. But y'all could easily be like, all right, well, if we can't get, if you're like, well, we can't get him. You know, this guy's kind of similar, same, you know what I mean? Like, same type of shit. Like, let's try to get him instead, you know what I mean? So, like, you, I feel like, I mean, you're right at the end of the day because it's obviously two different things. Like, I make my music. Q doesn't make, go in the studio and make mm-hmm. my music. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like, he's just helping me 
manage. progress, right? Progress. Like, manage it is what he, he's a man. He's a manager. You feel me? So he's just helping me manage the music, but he don't make it as of like you two actually make the podcast together. So it's important. But y'all could always be like, all right, if we're not gonna get, for example, you know, grunge, then like let's get such and such because he's on the same vibe as grunge. So it's yeah. like. You can always mm, figure it out. Okay, you know okay. I mean? Nah, but that would never happen, bro. We wanted you on. That's <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a fact. 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 So I got a question, right? So you were saying at first you were like mad excited whenever you made a song, you know, drop it, right? Yeah. So like I feel like, you know, you maybe you weren't taking it that serious at that time or what? I don't want to say I wasn't taking it serious. I just think... I wasn't, like I said to you, I wasn't aware, like, who I was right. and, like, what, I mean, I guess, take it, because I thought I was taking it serious, though, yeah. you feel me? That's why I don't, okay. I don't want to say, like, oh, I wasn't taking it serious, mm. but I think now I'm just more of, like, I just learned more, you know what I yeah, mean? Okay. Like, I'm more of, like, a a real artist, like, I really try to do this shit strate- strategically by the book, like, yeah. you're going to have right. a tape, you got to have a rollout, you're going to have a rollout, you got to have this, and you got to have a schedule, you got to have... You know what I mean? Certain times you post shit and like, mm. I have all that shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so it's just, it's, it's just, just different, a different right? level. Yeah. Okay. You know what different what I mean? le- different level. The reason I asked that is like, you know, like we said, bro, we were, we didn't make an episode for a, for a minute, bro. We legit, like, I don't even know what happened. It kind of just like, we were anticipating dropping an episode. Like we were about to yeah, have a so fire crazy. Essentially, we were supposed to have like a, like a business dude like heavy ass Fire, business dude bro. like he we might beast. still have him on so i don't want to you know say, yeah, right, say right, for the right. camera shit you know keep it a surprise for the fans but like it's like we're supposed to have this dude on and very it, experienced I, we were anticipating it for and, a minute and, bro, and we like were mad month. excited you know and then uh it's essentially he canceled bro yeah, like he just kind of just like never hit us up and stuff like that and we were kind of bummed and it, it kind of bummed me out so i was like man like kind of like psyched me out you know i was like fuck bro Yo, like, it, what it are we doing wrong point, like we weren't even talking to each other like the way we talk to each other like legit right. he would call me hey what's up man like if on some fucking business shit like, right, like right, it right. wasn't even like it was mad different i don't know what the fuck happened like legit was like a funk let's say it was like a funk. yeah i i would say like i think i think i just got like like I, like the ego trip or something bro because i felt like damn you know i feel like you know we're coming in week in week out the, the videos you know the, the podcasts we're doing are dope the, commu- the, we, the we community we're building is shit. crazy and then to have someone like kind of flake cancel on me like that like like not even like saying i was kind of like yeah bro like no, I feel you. felt like we were like in step one you know yeah, trying to get yeah, our yeah. first guest i right. mean yeah go ahead. My nah, i was gonna say like so from all that like it's not that we're not i feel like it's not that we're not taking it serious but i kind of want to level up like the way that you did right. yeah so like what was the mindset when you did level up like what 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 was like all right yo this and is that's what i, what I was do. about to explain like that's just like when when you get so like for example for like the situation you were just saying you know you got to realize that you're going to experience that probably for the rest of y'all podcast like yeah, whatever yeah. how long y'all want to do this shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. so it's like you're gonna have people to cancel you're gonna have people that might not look at you know look at you seriously at first yeah. but then you're gonna have them people come right back around when it gets better so you just gotta really know like i right, if you want to do this like I'm going to do it with all of my 100% energy. You know what I mean? I'm going to put everything into it no mm. matter if so-and-so don't show up to the show, if you don't show up to the show, if he don't show up to the show, I'm going to be at the show. Like, mm-hmm. that's the mentality you got to have. Like, the mm. mamba mentality. Yeah. No bullshit. Like, Is that what you did? That's what I did. I was just like, I, bro, I stopped having somewhere to record. I learned how to record myself. I couldn't get no beats. I was using YouTube beats at one point. I started making beats. Facts. Wow. Everything. I went out, bought my own mic. My own speakers, my own everything. I learned how to engineer. I learned how to EQ my voice, how to put auto tune, how to put reverb, how to all that. I learned by myself. Extra you know fucking wild wow. for the because dream, yeah. I, I wanted it, and no one wanted to see me beats. No, one, it's not awesome shit. Like fuck everybody. It's yeah, just yeah. when you first starting out, people are like, yeah, they don't you. you're a rapper too. Word, like yeah. you're a rapper too. Word. And yeah. I wasn't hearing that no more. Like I wasn't gonna beg nobody for beats. I started making my own beats. I started engineering myself i started putting the songs out niggas is like yo who did this beat who, who engineered me you feel me and then once you get started to tell people that you just you feel better about yourself you're just like man i want to just keep getting better yeah. it's just like that i can't say it enough that mama mentality is a real thing like oh. that shit is that shit is powerful bro i really just was on my shit like i still am you know nah, I mean? like i'm still trying to figure out ways to level up as an artist you know what i mean like i'll be doing photo shit now 
and I fuck with like video shit. Like I edit. know you like to take pictures too, right? I love taking pictures and I love editing videos and shit. Like I love all that shit. So, yeah, like, fashion guy too, bro. Hell yeah, you gotta look good in the flicks, bro. That's yeah, that's yeah, at yeah. heart though. Like I've always been a fashion dude since like a jit. Like I just always mad to make sure my forces match my shirt. You know what I mean? Have the fly J's or whatever. Like. I always made sure I was on top of my fashion shit. You, y'all remember Jack's Men Shop? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That shop. Every, hey, Broadway, right? yo. every Thursday I went there after school, bro. And I went to go get a pair of kicks every Thursday when I was younger. Dogs. That's crazy. My Dogs. cousin worked there, bro. I don't know if you knew him. They called him Junior, bro. Junior. Yeah, he worked there, bro. His name was Junior. He was like a short Puerto Rican dude. Beard. Short hair, bro. I don't I know. I just remember. What's the bro's name? It was some dude that worked there. He's like a fat dude, I think. Oh, he's like nah. an older dude. But, nah, but yeah, nah, I used to got some kicks from. That shit was a long time ago, though, yeah, bro. That Jack's shit, that shit's not there no more. Nah, nah Jack's mess, bro. They broke that shit down last year, bro. Yeah, it it, it, it went out of business in uh, COVID. Oh, for real? Yeah, because I remember bro, it being there, like, like a. The, it's empty, ago. bro. The sign is. Um, they took the, the like the Jack's mess up sign out, and the whatever the fuck was Jack's mess up before is that sign now. It's like plain, dirty and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. I need that Jack's mess shop sign. <laughs> Facts. Doug, bro. Yo. I gotta put that shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's crazy, bro. Yo. All right. So we're speaking about Chelsea, bro. And you got a song, 02150. And you're always talking about Chelsea Mass. Oh, so yeah. what, what, bro? What was it about, like, Chelsea, bro? Because, you you know, you've lived in every and this and that, bro. But you it's always rep yeah. Chelsea, bro. And I rep Chelsea, like, till no end. So I just yeah. want to hear your side of, like, bro, what? You know, why, like you know, what is the city? What, to what's you, the city bro? to what you city, exactly, man. man? Nah, that's a good question. Um, I think growing up in Chelsea, it just you raised different. You feel me? Like, I feel like I learned a lot of different, you know, um, lessons. Like living in Chelsea, like just it just made me who I am today. You know what I'm saying? Like when it comes to how I think on things or how I'm gonna move about something. Or whether it's like, you know, anything. Just like my yeah. mentality is Chelsea. You feel me? Like, and growing up, like it just, it really ca- Like it was that was really like the best time of my my like my youth was when I was living in Chelsea. Like friends wise, you know, going out wise, like just going to school. Like it was just always a good time for me. It was always good memories in Chelsea. Yeah. So even though. When I was younger, it was a little more hectic. You feel me? Like I don't know how bad it is now because I don't really be in the. Uh, it's you know it's gentrified. It's a little gentrified bit. You feel me? now. I see it being gentrified a little bit, which hurts my heart. But at the same time, it's like I remember growing up, like there was really niggas getting cut up and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you remember that? I remember that, bro. You remember when the guy got cut up I, and then he fucking on Grove Street, right? On Grove, Grove Street, Grove Street, bro. Yo, that bro, shit was crazy. I tell this story bro. all the time, bro. I was walking to school that day, bro. And I just see mad caution tape, all this, uh, 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 and I, sure enough, the nigga was cut up on Grove. But yeah. with that being said, you know what I'm saying? When you come from somewhere like that, you know, it, it just molds you differently than how, however such and such is going to come from. Mm. You know, just at one city over in Everett, like, yeah. it was sweet over there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I went over there, you know, the girls are pretty. Everyone's playing sports. Yeah. You know what I mean? Drinking beers at their mom's pools, like. You feel me like way different, you know, man. Chelsea, yeah, I, never seen a, a, I never seen a back door. A ba- I mean, back. You know what I mean? A pool in the backyard. Yeah, pool in the backyard. Like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So like, never, it was just different. Like even it was one city over, but like I was such. Literally, yo, yo. For the people that don't know, Chelsea's like right here, bro. You cross like fucking a street, and you're in Everett, bro. Yeah. That's how crazy it is. No bullshit. But it was such a difference. Like I never really. I mean, I'm not gonna say I never chilled in Everett because my cousin is from Everett. Um. So I would chill. He's a old. He's my older cousin. So I would go to ever to chill with him and his older football homies and shit. But that's the only thing I knew about ever. I never really chilled inside until I was going to the right, and I did some dumb shit in school. Yeah, that they was damn near about to expel me. Really? Jeez. Yeah. And my mom was like, "You're going to Everett. You want to talk about it or not? We can talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> yo." <laughs> So the it was two coming things. Out. It was two things. It was it was two things. My mom. It was mostly my mom just being fed up with me being just like I wasn't in the street. Like I wasn't in the streets. You know, like OD. Like to the point where I was in jail and all that shit. You know, yeah. I hung around niggas like that, but 
I was more just like a cool kid, bro. Like, I'll be at the school with all the niggas, you know what I'm saying? We skating, we smoking. Like, it was just regular. I was just normal, sh- normal shit, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? But, um, like I said, I chill with all the niggas that was really doing that type of shit. So, um, I forget. I won't say his name, but bro brought a, bro brought a, a, a BB gun. Oh. To science class, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is play as fucking hilarious. It's, this was in the right, bro. Eighth yeah. grade, maybe like this is when I moved to Everett. Like yeah, yeah, the yeah. end of eighth grade. I remember February eighth grade is when I moved to Everett. That's Jeez. crazy. So boom, I'm like, I'm like, yo, let me see that shit, nigga. What? Boom, <laughs> fall on the floor. Oh my god. Whole class is like. Yeah. That was a real gun, right? Yeah. Chelsea, bro. Like we used to have to get fucking. The one, the one shit before yeah, we came yeah. to school. So niggas was like, oh, but whatever. So boom, that happens. And then another incident. This was some. So this is what I was like telling y'all earlier. We was in the car. Like, nigga, I used to be a class clown. I was trying yeah. to make everybody laugh. Oh, me too, niggas, bro. So I'm in math class. And I'm like, this is just some dumb shit. This is the final straw for my mother, though. She goes, I was like to my math teacher, I'm like, what? I drink and smoke every weekend. I forget what the, I forget what the topic is. Like what? I forget what we were talking about. Hey, but I remember yeah. that specific thing. Niggas brought me to the principal. Now niggas is just trying to call fucking at the time DSS on my mom oh. and shit. Like I'm like yo, like I was just kidding, like type yo, shit. She's yo. like, yeah, nah, you're not chilling with none of these hoodlums. I'm putting you in every schools. So boom, she put me in every schools. So in that first year, until I went to high school, I walked to Chelsea to the right in front of that building every day, bro. From every Everett. day, from Everett, I would not chill with ever niggas. Just show my mom that I didn't want to be there. Like for the first year, yeah. I would, every day. That was still me in eighth Bama, grade, though. That you were still in eighth grade. About. Yeah, I was still in eighth grade. That yeah. whole eighth grade year. So I told you I went in February. Yeah. That whole up until like July, whatever. Even the summertime, I was still chilling in Chelsea until high school started. Like, and then I was like, yeah, I'm not fucking walking that far no more. Like, you know, yeah, like, that's a yeah, yeah, that's the loop, bro. Wow. You know the Cavarian in Everett. Kavarian. Kavarian. Nah, I don't know what that's. Yeah, it's like it's like literally we, damn we, near we Chelsea the, dudes. Bro. I feel you, but it's literally damn near on the Chelsea. Like it's right there in Prattville, damn near. Okay. So oh, okay. I was walking to, you know what I mean. Is a school there? Is a school? Yeah, it's a school. Oh, I, right. I think I know school. where it's at. It's not the Phoenix. It's not the same, but it's on the same yeah. street, just way more down. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, okay, I, okay. I yeah, yeah, yeah. It has a, a playground. Right, right. Yeah, it's like an elementary Basketball school court. or some shit. Yeah, it's a middle school. Oh, okay, school. okay, okay. Yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. Grade, right? Okay, okay, but, okay. Bro, that should be. Bro, bro <laughs> imagine yeah. you're in school, bro, and then all of a sudden, bro, the fucking gun. Yeah. Nah, imagine, imagine being his mom. Yeah, hello. Yeah, your son was saying he's drinking and smoking every day. That's <laughs> what helped her the most. Yeah. Oh the my. The BB gun was like, it wasn't really on me, to be honest. Like, yeah, bro, yeah. that had it, it was really on. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he really actually got in trouble for that shit. Like, I, it was it was just yeah, it was nah. just the the everything happened like and I used to get in like little petty trouble too so like all that shit that was adding up my mom was just not having it she's like yeah, yeah nigga you are going to every school bro I mean yeah I mean that makes sense bro you know I feel like a lot of parents do that you know what I mean like a lot yeah, of dudes like you regret with- that shit now. Yeah, like like looking back at it, like I mean, all I don't want like to put on your mom, shit, you know. Yeah, yeah, but like the I put, put I put too mom, much stress on my mom, man. I'm not even worried about it. She she's she's a soldier. She get it. You know what I mean? Like that's, and that's we, what parents do. And I'm, <laughs> and you feel me? I was a kid, bro. Like she knew I was a good kid. She knew I wasn't getting into anything crazy, yeah. too crazy at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so and that's what that's. That's what, that's what you do as a parent. Your kids are gonna put you through stress. And that's what you do as a kid too, bro. You, you just know? stress out your parents till no end, bro. You, like you um, know what I mean, I but don't, I don't regret it. But I did miss like my high school years in Chelsea and shit like that, because that's when you like becoming a young man. Yeah, bro. You feel true. me? Like you seen everybody grow up for real, like, and you know the city low key forgot about niggas, like, you know what I mean? Like I stopped talking to a lot of people. That's why when I seen Shorty earlier, like, yeah, I was, yeah. she was just like, "Damn, nigga, I haven't seen you." That's yeah. how, that's most people's response that's from Chelsea. Like, I nigga, I haven't seen you since I was. 11, 10, 9, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's like, bro, because niggas forgot about me. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I started going to Everett and, and niggas stopped hitting me. You feel me? Like, and yada, yada, or whatever. And my man's Bono, I was telling y'all about, he, around the same time, his mom moved him to Everett too. Oh, so y'all were together. Shit. He went to the Clark. So, Ooh. yeah, we was together. Like, and that was really my dog throughout high school. Like, because we would, nigga, we was on some her ass shit. 
with all these white folks and everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking beer and going to pool parties and shit. And I'm like, yeah, this is it right here. Like, we lit. So, like, yeah, I just, I had, and, you know, a lot of people in Chelsea was either dead or in jail, too. Because, like I said, I, I, I chill with a lot of the older cats, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, so, like, a lot of them was just, like, really dying or going to jail. So, I really didn't have much to talk to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Chelsea. And there's mostly like, just like young niggas there now that really don't really know who I am type shit. Mm. And if they do, it's just music shit. It's not like, yeah, I was from here. Like, I was Yeah, you want to class with you and like, shit. Like, y'all was. Like, I was in the same, yeah. you know what I mean? Schools, hallways, restaurants, all that. You know what I mean? So that's why I think, back to your question, like, that's why I think I rep Chelsea so hard because I don't want mm. no one to ever forget where I'm from. You feel me? Yeah. A lot of people mistake, you from every, you from this. And it's cool. It's funny. I mean, like, I went to school there. I mean, I met some cool people there. I'm not going to say I didn't have a good time there. But niggas need to always know that I will always be from Chelsea. Yeah, that shit's running through your veins. Yeah, veins, facts. Bro. I'm about to get it. I'm about to get 0215 right here. Facts. That's fire. That's fire. I, I'll just say, like, bro, I born and raised Chelsea, bro. I went through the whole Chelsea public school system. I've never left. I've moved 12 times in Chelsea, bro. Oh, Twelve fucking God. times Where in Chelsea, bro, bro. I've li- bro, I've lived. I remember my earlier years. What's that? Oh man, what's that street behind Central? Ch- Cherry? Ch- Cherry? I don't no, remember. No, no, not Cherry. Uh, Shop? No. I know I lived on Shawman. Oh, Shawman. Essex. Yep. Orange. I know I lived on Central. I know I lived on Spencer. Cary. I know I lived on Spencer. I know I lived on I Broadway. Lived on Spencer too. Yeah, I live. Uh, That's where I met him. Yo, you I know, lived on Broadway. You know what? Uh, he lived uh, right there, right behind. The you know, Glenn. you know where um the the Glen was. The Broadway Glen, Broadway mm-hmm. you know Glen? the big ass building. Yeah, on you know Broadway. you can see it on Spencer. You know uh, uh, the yellow. It was like two, bro. The only yellow fucking houses on the block. Mm, that's that's why I live. Yeah. Okay, so you know my man's. Um, it was honestly my cousin that lived. Simon. There. Um, you know Jay, Justin, Justin Rodriguez. Uh, oh, you know Javi. Javi, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. know Javi, yeah, yeah. Opal and all them. Right across the street from Javi, I, that okay. my cousin was. Like, I stayed with my cousin Od, so like my cousin. Mm, Justin. I live right across the street from Javi too. Maybe like yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right, Javi's house is right here. My crib used to be right there, bro. Like diagonal. Same shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Oh, so we probably live like, in the same yeah. building. Imagine, <laughs> yo, that shit would be crazy, <laughs> bro. That's why when I seen when I seen y'all show me um the first um like ad commercial type thing y'all. Oh yeah, the, the, the season yeah, two. Yeah, I was yeah, like, damn, yeah. that's that's um that's a complex right there. Like, yeah, yeah, cause bro, I used to walk right from Spencer. Yeah, we used ball. to hoop and shit. Hoop, ball, every that's, day. Uh, football. Yeah, manhunt. Smoke weed there. Smoke weed. Yeah, yeah like, all that. Nigga. That's crazy. All that, bro. yo. Oh, oh my shit. god. Quick story. Quick story. Yeah, 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 yeah we definitely. Y'all know Eric Flores. Yeah. 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 Okay, so that was like one of my best friends growing up, right? Yeah. And me and this nigga, right? We at the complex one day. We balling up, and we throwing acorns and shit and like rocks, like you know how like right near that basketball court. There's like, trees. There's like a gate right there though, like you know what I mean. Like, the big one that goes to like the the, the oh, yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah. So it's boom, street. like we right there, we balling and shit. Niggas just start throwing acorns at car. <laughs> Eggs, <laughs> <laughs> right? This nigga Eric, oh it was me. I don't remember which one it was, what which one it was, but we throw. Uh, it was I think it was an egg or acorn. Boom, hits a car with like it stops with like. Undercover oh, cop. Nah. No way. Undercover oh, cop. Oh my god, bro. I start jetting the Spencer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> jetting, bro. Like, you know where that Dunkin' Donuts is at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, put the mic a little closer. Oh, my fuck. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, the yeah. Dunkin' yeah. Donuts. Okay, okay. Bro, right there on that side street. Phew. Straight to Spencer. I see my aunt. I'm like, yo, Diti, I gotta put a hoodie on. I gotta put a hoodie on. I'm like, yo, these niggas is about to get me. I threw a rock through his window. Uh oh. She's like, what are you talking about? Like, my cousin comes in dying laughing. My older cousin Justin is like, bro, you're bugging. Like, you're good. I go back to the park looking mad sketchy, big ass. Ho- my older yeah. cousin's hoodie. Yeah, yeah, older yeah. cousin's sweatpants. I'm just in the corner like, yo, is he gone, bro? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think, I think Lil E dipped. I think he didn't even come back to the park that day. Day, bro, that shit was me. Oh, that was man. good. Yo, we got I got stupid ass stories like that too, bro. But <laughs> like, bro, um, you remember? Were you there that day on on Addison Street? Well, what happened? Well, we were making all that noise, bro, fucking being stupid, and then the lady came out yelling, and then nah, the, the cops know, came man. out. Nah. Oh, bro, so pretty much, I don't know what the fuck we were doing. We were at Chelsea High, like mad late, and then we're on Addison Street, we're walking, mm. and then we're fucking like 
you know, little kids like fucking doing stupid shit, jumping on people's lawns, and fucking yelling and shit, trying to turn on the lights and shit, do, doing stupid shit. We're just yelling and screaming. Some lady comes out, starts yelling at us, fucking, what the fuck are you doing? Oh shit! We start dipping. Then the the cops come. <laughs> were you guys making a disturbance? Today? Nah, nah, we weren't, man. I promise you, we weren't. We were mad, shook like out of touch, bro. Like, like, we were in the military, bro. Yeah. In a line like that, bro. Nah, sir, I'm sorry, man. We nah. weren't doing that. Mad, scared, all sweating and shit, bro. Like, bro, I'm telling you, that's like. The stupid shit you did when we were little kids, bro. Bro, like that's what I'm trying to say. Niggas was just badasses. The niggas just kids, like <laughs> just doing just Yo. menace things. <laughs> Yo, but but I just want to say, bro. Like you know, like I said, growing up in Ch- I've grown up my whole life, bro. I just want to say, bro. I'm proud to see someone you know making noise the way you're doing it, Appreciate bro. You, in the music game, and you rep in my city, bro. Like nice. yo, I nice. cannot be like I cannot say like. In words, how proud I am of you, bro. Okay. I know I just met you formally today, bro. This now we we've exchanged DMs, whatever. But bro, I'm telling you, I'm just like, yo, my boy Donald Grunge, Appreciate bro, that, is dog. is my making dog. it, bro. Like that bro, means I'm a telling lot. You, man. You know what I'm saying, and like it, it, bro. I I love my city so much, and like I love this, like I just love the grind, bro. Yeah. When I heard, bro, I thought I was like, yo, how much you know songs you got in the chamber? I thought you were gonna say like, oh, I got like fifty, bro, thousands of songs, bro. I was like, yeah, this bro, man's thousands, fucking working bro. hard, bro, and he's from my city, bro. I gotta applaud that man for Thank real, you, like that's just. Beautiful, bro. Yo. Beautiful, bro. Absolutely yeah, beautiful. bro. I just, I'm saying, that's really what I do it for. Like, that's really why I go so hard for Chelsea because I want. We never had nothing from Chelsea. Not even to be nothing. proud of, right? Like maybe Caesar, the nigga that yeah, got yeah. the 1500 points yeah, that well, challenge. I'm trying to interview him next week. Next week. Next I remember week. being in school when he got that shit. Like, the I was think I was points? in middle school. A thousand yeah. points. Yeah. yeah, I remember that shit. He came to middle school and all that, talking to us, balling with us and shit. Like. But, like, I never feel like we had somebody to be really proud of, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, and just be like, yeah, the, them niggas is from Chelsea, bro. Like, yeah. we was going to school with that. Like, I was walking the same hall we were, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I want that for people. You know what I mean? Kind of like how Stiz is for Boston, you yeah, feel me? Yeah, like, yeah. and that's my dog. Like, Stiz is a good friend of mine. Like, well, hell yeah. Yo, I've been trying piece. to get Stiz on for a while. Well, yeah. He's dope as fuck, bro. He, he be a busy man. No bullshit. Nah, I feel that. But he, yeah, I be linking up with him, with him in um, LA and shit, and... You know he really does. He really does. Um, he does a lot. Like, and he's just like really cool, nigga. He's just, he's like that dude in his city, and that's what mm. I want to be for Chelsea. You feel me? Like, you think of Boston, you think of artists. The first one you think of is this. I mean, so when you think of Chelsea, the first artist you gonna think of is Donald Grunge. Hey, nice, bro. That's beautiful. Bro, like that's shit, beautiful. Bro. A question I have, bro. Speaking about LA, so like, give the the the. The move, right? The move going to LA. Was it like a thing where like, yo, everyone from LA makes it kind of deal? Or was it like a thing where it's like it was a more strategic plan going over there, bro? It was more strategic. I had just signed a um distribution deal with Integral. Okay. Um they're they're a label they're also based out of Boston, but they live out there in LA. Um but I had just signed a deal with them, so I was just like, you know, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to be closer to them. You know, um, any meetings, studio time, anything like that, I got to be there for. I don't got to fly out. I'm going to be right there. You know, yeah, for the, and, and our shit, I think it's like a year long. So we just, we just, I was just like, fuck it. I'm going to live there for a year. If I like it, I'll stay. If I don't, I don't. You know, and yeah. it was more strategic, though. It wasn't more like, a, oh, I'm going to go to LA and blow up. Because, like, yeah, because I, I like I've heard that story like mad people. For example, like, that's um, like that's why there's like mad people, mad homeless and shit because they don't make it and shit. And they bro, the this is true. Because yeah, you uh, see young, my only cut you off, but you uh, see young bulls out there like young do- like young niggas like our age, bro, walking the streets, you know, hungry, whatever, like whatever the case may be, and you could tell like they probably had a dream at one point. Yeah, it's like, but you gotta know your limits. You gotta know when it's right. For you, not for everybody mm. else. Like, oh, I gotta move to LA so niggas see me in LA. Like, yeah. it was never that. I was honestly staying on my man's couch for the first three months. I didn't even know I was gonna live there. I was just trying to be on some shit. Like, yeah, I'm out here for real. Like, and then the third month, I'm like, nigga, I'm getting an apartment. Like, I'm gonna move out here. And then I came back once, brought my photographer and videographer, um, Sleepy, with me. I'm like, yeah, we out. We going to LA. And we grab our we grab our spot, and I've been there since. That's fucking dope that you have like friends, bro, that believe in you that much that they oh, yeah. make the move with you, bro. That's now crazy. now I got three I got three gleams out there now. 
Hey. I got three niggas living out there now. You know what I mean, mm. it just started off with me and my my manager Elton. He was okay. the first one to move out there. All right. Okay. So he's from Boston too. He's from Boston too. Yep. All right. He's from Dorchester, but he I went to Ever High with him though. He okay. moved too. Yeah, for me. So. Mm. Okay, okay. So, um, that's how we got so close. And he's always been in the music business. He went to college for for the shit. Like he's just he, he's a smart dude. You feel me? Strategically, um, and he's more of like a day to day for me. He don't. He's more of like a, he just keep me sane type. You know what I mean? Like, mm. like, what's going on, grunge? Like, you do what you gotta do today. How you feeling? You ate? You know what I mean? What's going on? Type shit. Like, so he's one. Of, he's just a really good friend of mine. You know what mm. I mean? Like, one of my best friends, honestly. So he's he's cool. But yeah. And then and then your your videographer and stuff. They they all they all. Just oh yeah, and my too? videographer. Um yeah he so I live with my videographer and then across the street is um one of my good friends Naj he's also getting into the Naj, video like that Naj yeah Naj shout to Naj shout to Naj shout to all the gleams by the way but Naj shout is across the, the street gleams. with my manager Elton they live together so like it, we literally across the street from each other so yeah, whenever I'm on, like everybody right there you feel me whenever I'm like alright y'all I'm trying to do this little skit I'm trying to do such and such let's all link up I mean we all go downstairs like we just link up like as simple as that so i like i like that i like that we're outside of boston but we're still together and yeah. we're still determined so it's like there's none of the distractors over there there's no hoods you don't we, know no one right I'm we, we don't really know anybody there's no hoods we be in you know what i'm saying because yeah. it's not it's not our hoods you know what i mean so we just really be on some work shit getting money shit smoking like eating good like we just be on some real cordial shit we don't even try to do too much that's fucking that's crazy that's crazy man. bro yeah i'm about to be an artist man that sounds kind of cool <laughs> <laughs> what well, you were saying with the shit everybody was across the street that's legit how we used to be like vic lived across like all right so i lived across the street from the glen my boy lived I in lived the, glen. the glen okay. he lived behind the glen our boy lived down the street another boy right. right there like we just had like five six. bro that shit is bro. clutch sometimes bro Yo, legit, bro y'all can all like Nigga, you could be middle of the night shit. Like, nigga, meet me downstairs. Like, yeah, yeah, I got yeah. to tell you this this <laughs> idea. Well, early like, morning, bro. I just woke up, y'all. Jump in the fucking... Literally. Room. And, like, I live down the street from the fashion district, too. And I, I make all my own clothes. You feel me? So, mm. I'll be, I'll call my manager, Elton. I'll be like, yo, let's come downstairs. Let's go, you know, oh, up, the, up the street. Oh, you're right? Your distributors, like the people that make your clothes? Yeah. No, I make them. Oh, I heat press them. everything. Yeah. Oh, Cut the vinyl. You didn't better. see the video? He made a video on how he makes yep. his shit. Oh, Fact. shit, bro. Gang. This, yeah, this dude. This dude's but yeah, bro. nah, I make all my own shit. I mean, I, I have people that I buy the blanks from and shit, but I, I cut all the vinyl. I press all my shit, you know. Oh, but I want a shirt even more now. Bro. Yeah, bro. This is fucking sure. dope. So, Yo. Oh, oh, I was going to say. Right, go, go, go. Now, I was going to say, so, you know, you're out in L.A., and I know that we, we know a lot of people that are from Mass that are out in L.A. too, you know, like... Uh, like Stiz is out there. Yeah. Johan is out there. out there. Van Buren's been out there and everything. So, like, do you link up with them when you're out there? I've linked with all three of them. Really? Facts. All three of those people you just named. Wow. Stiz. Stiz. <laughs> so, Stiz, I knew. I mean, obviously, I knew Stiz when I when I um was in Boston. But, like, I didn't know. Like, I wasn't, like, his friend or anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. We just had mutual friends, such and such. Mm. And um, I was actually going to a Van Buren studio uh, session. And, like I said to y'all, Earlier, um, I went to college with some of the VB boys, so yeah. I've always been cool with them. Like they're all homies, they're all good people, down to the managers, the whole team. Yeah, nah, they're, 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 they're the they're whole team fine. is great. Yeah, you feel me? So I'm going to the studio. They, they, you know what I'm saying? They tell me come to the studio. So boom, I, I go over there and um, Stiz was there. You know what I'm saying? And we we just started chopping it up. You know what I mean? Where you from? Where I'm from? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah, right. You know what you're doing out here? You know, and just like normal conversation. And then it was just like. Stiz had another session, and Stiz hit me up, like, yo, come to the session, bro, come chill, you know what I mean? And I was chilling in on his sessions, like, for a couple of days, so we just we just had, like, this genuine connection, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it was bro, because out there, too, you don't have a, like, when you meet someone from a mass in general, you, you feel, feel connected, bro, because yeah, yeah, you're, like, like family already, bro. you feel me? Right? You're, like... You're talking about some shit and niggas in the room are all from LA. You're like, you know what I'm talking about, gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if I'm like, yo, on dogs, everyone's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> but Stiz know what I'm talking about. You feel me? Van VB know what I'm talking about. You know, Johan know what I'm talking. I mean, Johan, he's 
He's a real artist. Like oh, he's yeah, a yeah. character, he's interesting bro. Dude, bro. He's, a, he's bro, an bro, interesting. He's an interesting dude. We were, we were studying for him for the show, bro. It was insane, bro. Like I was like, bro, this dude, his mind is has yo. Because VB it was it was smooth, you know. Like VB, yeah. it was cool. It was just nigga vibes. It's it's like, yeah, it's because you know they grow up in a place that's kind of similar to where you grew. You up. You understand? Right? And Johan didn't. Right, <laughs> but it's cool because bro is really talented and bro yeah. really taught me a lot. He's just passionate in too. that one day, and I like that. That's what you know me. That's my thing. I like being. You know what I'm saying I'm passionate, so I like when mm. people are passionate about yeah. what they're passionate about. Mm. Yeah. But Johan was more of um my manager set that up. Q set that up. Okay. Um, and he was just like, yeah, Johan's gonna be at the studio. You know, Integral Studio, which is my label. Um, I want you to go down there today. You know, three o'clock. Go over there, make some music with him. So I go over there. You know what I'm saying? Um, weird vibe. Like, it, like not a weird, like, bro, I got love for you, bro. But, like, <laughs> like, bro is just really an artist. Just, like, just chilling there, like, what's up? <laughs> it's like, what up, bro? You know what I mean? Like, you know me. I'm just ghetto. I'm like, what up, nigga? I'm about to roll up. Like, you smoke? No, I'm good. Like, eh, whatever. And, like, I was showing him music. You can't really tell if he fucks with it. Until the end, he's like, That's funny, I like that. I'm like, yo, this guy's crazy. He's crazy. <laughs> but, you know, people like that, bro, they be reasons to their madness. Yeah, and yeah. once he started recording and showing me his beats, I was like, that's why you would like that. Because yeah. you are an amazing artist. So he said, he showed me two beats. I made the two beats. And then he helped me, like, kind of just like I told y'all, write, write type song. Yeah. Write a song. But, yeah, it was dope working with all three of those groups of people. Stiz, VB, Johan. Nah. V, VB be going crazy lately Man. too. We got we got some bangers, me and VB. I'm trying to hear them, bro. When y'all dropping that? Yeah, shit? I know. I mean, I, it's up. It's up to them. It's yeah. usually because it's usually their sessions. You feel me? Oh. So it's, it's usually. So that's how like, that works. I mean, that's how I look at it. Like, yeah, okay. you know, what I'm saying, I tell you, come to my session. You know what I mean? I'm obviously it's my session, so I'm already making music. If I'm like, yo, get on the song. It's my song. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. So like, I just like I'll go there with even if I do the hook like. At the end of the day, if they don't want to drop it, like, at all, and they're like, you could drop it, then I'll try to figure some shit out. But, you know, we don't even have um, enough music together. Like, we just kind of started making music collectively, like, me and VB. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I said earlier, I have songs with Felix, and I have some songs with Luke, but, like, I'm trying to make songs with all them boys, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I don't like, yeah. like, VB featuring me, not, yeah. like, Felix featuring me, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I mean, it, it really depends on who wants to drop it, and then... I seen I seen in April you tweeted something like, uh, "Oh, I got a ten day contract with VB." That shit had me dead. I was like, I was yo, like, yo you know that's VB. when they was in LA and um they were shooting um you know that sneakers thing they did yeah yeah oh, the, in the, 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 the store the balance. The, with, in the, the loop, with the with the fucking bodega is it bodega is it, nah it was it's the store is called sneakers it's like in LA okay no nah. they did some so shit they, they, I know they done mad they've been doing a lot of yeah they've been doing a lot of shit um but they was in the this, this, this sneaker store and I was just over there like because I was just chilling with them. I pulled up they said they had a video it was on Venice Beach I'm like fuck it sound yeah. lit um so I go over there and I'm just like talking to one of their managers she and I'm just like. Type up my 10-day contract, man. I'm, I'm with VB now. Like, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, y'all doing all this cool shit. Like, I'm trying to be VB. Well, you know, it was just bullshit. And, like, I love I love bullshitting with them niggas. They, they got good sets of That's humor. Right. They're all good people, bro. No bro, bullshit. I got a question, bro. I seen on Twitter, bro, that you had a pick with Felix, bro. How do you convince that dude to take off the shades, man? You know what's crazy about that, boy? You can ask him. You can ask him. So, help me God. He'll tell you. I'll be telling him. I'm his... I'm his glasses, like, manager. Like, like if we out, I'm like, yo, put your shades on, Felix. Like, what are you doing? Type <laughs> shit. Like, he honestly, like, chilling. Like, because I show him, obviously, multiple days, whatever. Yeah. Like, he don't really wear them shits. Really? For real? Bro, every time <laughs> like, I see I've that dude. Seen every time I see that side. dude. I, <laughs> was like, now, I mean. He got, a, he got a bucket hat. Yeah. Every right. time well, I see that dude, he always like had them events, shits on. Like, events and shit. If you're going to go to an event, if you got a show, if you got a video, of course, that's his aesthetic. You know what yeah. I mean? The shades or the covering his face. But when it's just me and him in the crib, like, when he comes to LA and he comes over to make music. 
the niggas in my crib with a do rag on, <laughs> smoking. I'm like, you know what I mean? We going out to eat. He's just same thing. I'm like, bro, put your mask on, bro. Like, he's like, bro, I don't give a fuck. We always like, you know what I'm saying we out here like, unless someone will take a picture. So like, they won't even know. They probably won't even know because he's always wearing that shit. Literally, that's bro. what I said. That's why I was like, how the fuck did you convince him to take off the shades, bro? But with that being said, he already had him off. That's <laughs> he already had him off. But when he, so that's what I'm saying. When he don't have him on, though, he'll still like, you know, cover his face or whatever. So yeah. That's really it though. Like he don't really be wearing them too much. Like it really just That's be cool at events. Aesthetic, though. I fuck with that it's dope shit, as fuck. Like he's, and he's been doing that shit, bro, for like for a long time. Wow. Yeah. Bro, just... I got another quote from your from your Twitter, bro. In all caps, don't fly Delta. What happened with Delta, dog? Yo. <laughs> Delta try to scam me and my man's, bro. No way, bro. That tell dog, me, tell bro. Me the story, bro. So. <laughs> sip of water so i'm trying to come back to boston bro mm-hmm. and i'm like trying to get my flight last minute you know rapper shit I'm trying to leave in like two days so I'm like, <laughs> rapper shit. <laughs> <laughs> trying to leave in two yeah, days that's funny because the other day you said what would you say yo oh I, i'm about to be back but i haven't booked my flight yet or something like that i yep. my ticket yet. haven't booked my flight yet back so actually i have i have i leave monday but um oh, you're going back to la right back to la yep hey. fucking um Long story short, bro, I'm trying to book this flight. I booked the flight. And then the day of, I'm like, yo, no one ever emailed me a ticket. Like, oh, nothing. Man. You paid the, like, the But I paid. Thing. I had the receipt. You feel me? Like, yeah. so, boom, I'm, I'm like, like, I'm calling Delta. They're talking about two-hour wait to be on the phone. Oh, like, customer yeah. service shit? Yeah, so I'm sitting on the phone. I'm sitting on the phone. I'm sitting on the phone. I'm like, damn, nigga, he's not going to answer. And I go on to Google. It's a second number. I call the second number. They're like, oh, yo, 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 what's your name? What's this? Um, yep, so all you got to do is go to Target, put it money on a gift card, and then, right. Whoa. And that's the face I make. I'm like, Whoa. I'm like, money on a gift card? <laughs> what Whoa, Delta, what the fuck is going on, Delta? But I'm going to tell y'all right now, I'm going to be honest. I don't fly Delta. So when there was like, you got to go to Target to get a Delta gift card, I wasn't really thinking much about it because I'm like a Delta card to use for Delta. Right. Like, oh, oh, I so thought it was like I one get of the up right to go to Target, right? And I'm in the car with my manager Elson, and we just talking. We just like it's just not sounding right. Yeah, it's not no, sounding no, right. No, you feel me? Like right. we all chopping up. We like this is not it. This is not it. So we call Delta. We like yo. So why is someone telling da 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 da? And then my man Sleepy screenshots the number. He says, is this one of y'all numbers? He's like, nah. They're like, nah, that's not us. But you Googled it and it was supposed so to be So there's a number? scam going on right now Oh, where nah. niggas is getting bread from the flights. Like what? like telling you, yeah, you got to get a gift card, pay us, and then we'll give you your flight. You pay them and you don't obviously get a flight. You feel me? So I'm like, yo, these niggas almost got me for about, but the one way was like three hundred dollars. I'm like, niggas almost got me for three hundred. Like, yeah. So, yo, Delta was I just going, going on, man. Off on Delta, like, yo, how are you, how are you getting finessed right now? Like, what is going on? Like, and I kind of felt like it was on them at first because it's like at the end of the day, I bought a ticket through Delta. I know I did. It was Delta.com. Yeah. But the thing is, why didn't you send me my ticket? ASAP as soon email, as I bought right? it. Yeah, I so never got an email. Like a confirmation no, email? No confirmation, nothing. All Not I got the spam? All I got was my bank account saying the money was out and approved. Like you feel me? You know how it's processing? Yeah. It was it went through. Like they had my bread. Oh, so man. I was like, I definitely bought the ticket. Yeah. So, man, that shit was a hell of a day though. But you got it eventually? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's here, bro. Oh, that I just, was for this one right now? Yeah, like, bro. Hey, dude's here, bro. What the That's why fuck? I went like this. I'm here. <laughs> like, that was fuck? to come back. Yeah, That's bro. That's crazy. Yeah, That's why man. I tweeted that shit. Like, what, that was like last but, week. We no, bullshit, after. yo. Delta saved my life like two weeks ago, though. Oh. I was in Florida. Now, now I'm teeter-tottering, yeah, bro. Yeah, because Delta <laughs> saved my life, but yo. Because, yo. So, you know, I went to Florida, and I went with my girl, her friend, the one we just seen, right? Yeah. And, oh, and yeah, she's the one bro. that booked the tickets. And when we when she asked us, yo, do you guys care what airline? We were like, nah, we don't care, whatever. Like, pick whatever airline, whatever is the, the best. So if she goes for the cheapest shit, she picks Spirit, dog. <sighs> dog, yo, I when I seen that, I, I'm like, I'm like, all right. You know, like, yo, you what never the fuck about social media. Yeah, no, bro. You know all though? the bullshit you be hearing about Spirit. I was like, yo, 
Them I was niggas like, bro, why the fuck you pick Spirit? I'm not flying that shit. She was like, bro, it was the cheapest one. It's like half the price. I was like, all right, whatever. We'll try it out. We'll see what's up. Bro, going to Florida, right? It was a, We got a back and forth. Going to Florida, late. That shit's fucking... We, we were supposed to get on at like 5 p.m. We got on at like 9. All right, so that's a four-hour delay. That's that. That's not even the worst part. On our way back, we we go to Universal, right? We're trying to we're trying to have fun, right? And we're hoping that shit gets delayed again, cause we're like, yo, we're trying to stay at Universal a little bit longer. That shit gets delayed like four hours straight up, like right from the start. We're like, lit, let's just stay at the park, bro. We pull up to the airport like later, that and it, and it, go, it tells us to go to a gate for and it says for Boston, right? We pull up to the gate. That shit's going to Baltimore. It's like, what the fuck is going on? We go up to some lady. Some lady's like, oh, yeah, no, your flight got canceled like two hours ago. And I was like, why didn't we get an email or nothing like that? And then apparently, yo, all of the Spirit Airline, like the, the fucking, what's it, the the what? pilots, oh. they all went on strike that day. 300 flights canceled that day. And we had to stay in the airport overnight, dog. Yo, legit, like, bet mad people screaming. Bro, I seen that on the news. Yeah, I think. it was on the news that day, yo. I was legit, bro. One time, I haven't been on a plane in like four, I think it was like three years, right? Lying, bro. 2019. All right, two years. All right, that was the one I was thinking. I couldn't remember what year ago. All right, so two <laughs> years. So two years, right? I haven't been on a plane. 1962. What are you talking about? I said three <laughs> years and two years. What the fuck is the difference? I, I relax, bro. All right, so I haven't been on a plane in yeah. two years. And the first time I fly Spirit, I'm like, I'm sitting there. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Bro, line like legit. There was like probably like two thousand people in line waiting to like get their fucking a new flight and everything. Mm-hmm. I was like, yo, fuck that shit, bro. We just got a flight on Delta. Bro. Hell no. Delta saved my life that day, bro. No bullshit. I would have been in Florida still right now. No, uh, that's crazy, bro. bro that shit is not annoying. <laughs> so don't fly Spirit. I live. Yeah, yeah, don't. Uh, I'd definitely fly Delta don't than ever. Spirit. Fly, I never I, flew, flew Spirit, and I will tell you right now, don't ever fly Spirit. Yeah, yeah so don't do that. Shit. For sure, don't fly Spirit, but. Be fucking cautious when you fly Delta. <laughs> there you go. I guess airlines are fucking ass these days. Yo, know. they really are though. And it, with the corona and shit, it just makes the steps more like, yeah, you know what I mean? You gotta do it. Yeah. Hey, yeah, it's fucking too much, bro. I tried to sleep with that mask on, bro. I was like, I fucking hate- yo. I was like suffocating under that shit. Bro. I hate them shits, bro. They make my nose. Oh, you gotta wear that shit on the plane. You have no, to wear it. No, for Chicago, I had a, I, I wore double. So I went to Chicago, bro, and went, went. Bro, we're kind of dumb. But I went to Chicago when fucking Corona was like, we didn't even know what it was. And it Nigga, was that's like, when I moved to LA. Yeah, it was like people thought like you were die and shit. Mm-hmm. So, bro, I'm wearing d- dual masks, bro. I'm wearing two masks, bro, gloves, fucking a hoodie. <laughs> I'm just ski I'm like this, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> yeah, looking like Felix on the plane. Yeah, bro, and it is mad hot, bro. We were like we were dying, bro. Now, so I can only imagine. Imagine one fuck. Imagine two masks, bro. I fucking bro. I'm all set. I try yeah. to sleep with that shit now. Nah, bro, I got another quote from your Twitter, bro. Oh, man, this my tweets are wreck. I'm gonna tell yeah, you. Yeah, I know, I know. I got <clears throat> ready, ready. And I quote. And I quote. Um, I'm the Lauren Hill of SoundCloud rap. What's that mean, bro? What's that mean, bro? Yo. What's that mean, bro? What's that That's mean? a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Man, uh, I don't even remember how that came about. You should have came with the date on that, bro. Oh, Where, what, what, was the, what was the date on uh, that? Oh, man, I got to go back. But, yo, but I read that shit. I was like, yo. I, don't, I really don't remember, like, what exactly that was about. But I think it was, like, really me just saying, nigga, I am... Lauren Hill, the SoundCloud rap, like <laughs> nigga, like Lauren Hill is goaded. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like, nigga, if you are Lauren Hill, the SoundCloud rap, like nigga, you you was you was you was goaded, and you was yeah, you was me- doing this, and nigga, just the singing too. I was, I think I meant, I meant, I I really wish why I, I knew why I tweeted <laughs> bro, I'm that. You, I was I was enjoying myself going through your tweets, bro. Like that yeah. was that was a great one. I was like, yeah. I really have tweets, no bro. good explanation for that. That's crazy. I bro. don't. I was just I was just on some shit. Bro, <laughs> I got another quote, bro. Just, damn, this man was going through yeah, that. bro. All right. You said Biggie really is my favorite MC of all time. So can you explain like why, bro, and all this? Yeah, hell yeah. Um, I think I think he is a big part of how east coast raps today you know when mm. it comes down to could you with that 
the gory shit. You know, he would talk about doing crazy shit to people. You know what I mean? Like, just the... When the, I die, fuck it, I want to go to hell because I'm a piece me? of the shit. The raw shit. Like, he was just yeah, yeah. so raw, bro. And, like, he just had... Like, I really do appreciate his lyrics. It was different. There was, like, yeah, he's talking about street shit. He's talking about crack. But he's saying it in a way... One, you know what I mean? It's like bro. probably the the greatest fucking cadence ever, bro. Like you know what I mean? Like that dude's a force. Yeah, bro. his like, cadence, everything. Like, and I really feel like he just was a start of a lot of like the new generation. Like it, he was like the very end, like the you know what I'm saying? It was like maybe towards the ends of the '90s. So it was like right there, it kicked off a whole different. It wasn't boom bap no more. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like after after his type, you know what I mean? We, st- we got out of the boom bap. Now we making different shit. Like, and I feel like he got us there. He was using crazy samples. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Crazy R&B samples. Like, he brought, like, the the, hood, the real hood gangster shit to the clubs, to bro. To the clubs. Like, he bro. was really doing that. He was, I mean, I'm, I know there's, of course, many artists that have done that. Slick Rick, you know, Tupac, of course. But Biggie was on the East Coast, and he's from New York, and he's four hours away from us. So yeah. it's like... This nigga is the GOAT. You feel me? Like, yeah. he, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was he was four hours away from me, and he was doing everything he's doing. Like, mm. we from the same coast. Like, that's yeah. it just was always lit for me to just be like, all right, like, you know, Biggie. Biggie's just really, especially younger, too. Like, I always listen to his shit. Him, 50. Like, those were, like, my go-to. Him and 50. Yeah, I was like, going to say, like, 50 is kind of like, you know, like, Biggie part two. Because, like, you know... Where while Biggie brought it to the club, you, you know, what I'm like saying? yeah, well, Fifty Cent brought it to like like not a new, not a, like a like a, a, a higher level, but like just a different a type different, of energy. Different, yeah, like, bro, he was like, you know, Fifty was that gangster dude, bro. But that, yeah, and he was like, you know, he was that, you know, he was that New York guy, but he was like, you know, he had the dun, right, dun, and that's what, dun, and this is the crazy had, part, he right? Had dancing there and would shit, never you know? be. You from you saying part two of Biggie, that's what I'm saying. There can't be no part two if there ain't no part one. So yeah. that's why I'm like I appreciate Biggie for that because he made artists like Fifty, you know. He well, made he made he made a lot of he artists. Influenced people. He influenced like a lot Kendrick of artists. Cole. Kendrick Cole. Anybody. Anybody. Bro. That's yeah. why I was gonna name people, and I'm like, bro, he's influenced so many that I could sit here and say names all day. But at the end of the day, I think he's really one of the best. Yeah. Artists. Like um, in my job, right? We talk about like you know the goats and stuff, right? And I and I always say like, there's always the argument. Yo, you gotta have longevity to be to be the goat. But then I'm, I'd be like, bro, that diminishes the notorious one, bro, because he doesn't he do the the circumstances that happened, bro. He doesn't have the longevity that you know another artist chance. should have. He yeah, he chance. didn't get the fucking right. chance. So how the fuck? Like I feel like when you're talking about goats, <coughs> right? You're talking about the goat. You can't like I feel like that has to be skewed, bro, from fucking being like a uh, what's that called? Being a. a, a like a, like a category, longevity. Yeah, like longevity, bro. Doesn't mean shit, bro. Cause the same way how like uh, a Donald Grunt song can impact one song can impact like Chelsea Mass or like the world. Mm-hmm. It's the same way how like, bro, he impacted the world in the short time that he lived. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. So, bro, I don't, bro. Longevity. Eminem has been rapping for a long ass time, bro, and he's great, right? But he kind of died out. You know what I'm saying? There is no kinda. It's not. Yeah. He died out. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> bro, bro died out. Nah, nah. Like, I mean, he's I, I grew up on Eminem. I, I, the, the Slim Shady, the LP, whatever the fuck, Marshall Matters, all yeah. that bullshit. I was like, my older cousin really loved Eminem OD, but like, I would listen to him, you know what I mean? Because him and 50 went hand in hand. So it's like, I loved Eminem, but I just feel like he lost. He should have stopped rapping a long time ago. Yeah, I, f- I feel like that's a lot of people, bro. A lot of people just kind of like stay, stay up. You know, overstay their welcome, bro. Kind of. I'm not gonna rap after 40. Really? What if like? But like, I'll make music for myself. Yeah. And of course, maybe a song will come out, but it's not gonna be on no. I got this, and I got Ricks, and I got. You know what I mean? Like, mm. I'll like that's only a certain age you could be doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, I think I think um, what's his name? Andre 2000 said that. Like, I don't want to rap after 40 because like. It's, 40 year olds ain't cool like you I know mean, mean you're a grown man like i think i, th- I think it depends like it like does for, depend though for example like if you're 40 years old till talking about like toting guns and shit in the hood bro and living in the projects like what the fuck are you doing you know right. we clearly know that's not true but if you're kind of someone like like have you heard king disease too by nas 
Nah, all right. So he dropped that album maybe like last week. Nah, I think it was like two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Two, weeks ago. two or three weeks two, ago. Two or three weeks ago, right? He dropped King's Disease mm. uh, 2. And and the, you know, you you know, Illmatic, bro. He's talking about right, the right. hood and shit. You know, bullet holes left in my people. And then he goes like, now he's not, it's not like he's rapping about the hood and shit no more. He's kind of, it's like for the next generation. Like he has a bar where it's like, it's like, yo, please chase the dream of the something, something, but don't sell your soul to the devil. Some shit like that. Right. Which is some shit that, like, I feel like, damn, that's just crazy. Like, I feel like that's that's cool as shit. You know, Nas is old, bro. He's yeah. like, what, 40-something? Yeah, so I feel like, like, I don't know. It all depends, bro. Like, damn, bro, I'm, I'm kind of going teeter-tottering with my shit now. Yeah, I don't bro. know. I feel like I still stick by what I'm saying because it's like, ain't nobody want to put on Nas and listen to what he got to say to us. Really? Like, the younger kids ain't gonna put on Nas and be like, oh, yeah, Nas is telling me to stay out the streets, so I should stay out. Like, you mm. feel me? Like, nigga, they gonna put on that pop smoke and go, you yeah. know what I'm saying, do whatever they wanna do. Like, yeah. it's yeah. a different time, and it's like, you gotta know when your time has ran out. So you feel that, me? So, there's like, an expiration date for, for artists? Yes. Even Hove? Hove <laughs> is different. <laughs> Hove is different. Hove is different. Because you know what it is about Hove? I feel like he's he's going to always keep it, like, classic. You know, he's always going to keep it classic Hove. He's not going to try to do too much. Mm. He's not going to try to do too little. He's going to give you that classic Hove verse, and when you hear it, you're like, this nigga can rap. You know what I mean? Nas... Forgive me, Lord, because I love Nas. You feel me? Like, that's that's one thing I be trying to do. Out. He died out. You feel me? I be trying to... I, I don't want to say shit, you know, publicly sometimes because I don't want people to get the nah, wrong... Nah, inter- nah. Inter- you know what I mean? Whatever. Yeah. But, you know what I mean? Certain people like Nas is like, bro, you getting older, niggas don't want to hear what you got to say, bro. Like, mm. and even with Hove, it's, niggas ain't really... Like, niggas respect Hove, so we listen to him. But it's not like we throwing Hove on, like... Maybe his older shit, yeah, of course. We're gonna, I'm gonna throw on Nas's older shit too. But once you get past a certain age, Hov ain't even rapping like that no more. Feel me? Hov hasn't, Hov band ain't rapping. Like, yeah, he'll do some verses, but like, I don't know. I just feel like once you pass a certain age, it's like you've talked about what you need to talk about. Like, either you make, and I'm, this is strictly, this, this is why I wanna make clear too. This is not like music in a whole. This is strictly rapping, like bars, like, you know what I mean? Like I feel like that is is like is more of a younger nigga sport. Like you just younger niggas do that. Like you know what I mean? It's always been like that since the eighties and the nineties. There was the younger niggas that was making the raps and all that other shit, and wearing the cool clothes. It was always True. the youth. It's always about the youth. It's like once you pass a certain age, how are you gonna tell the youth how to live how you lived? Like, yeah, you was it was definitely different when Nas was eighteen than when I was eighteen. Yeah. So what what are you really telling me? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But on the same tip, of course, if he's saying like, you know, take care of your community and all this other shit, like in the songs, that's cool. It's cool to put that message out there, but you can't expect niggas to be like, this is it right here. Like I'm bumping this shit all day. Like, mm. you know what I mean? I mean it's, it's like some shit your dad says, right? Like, you're, like, like it's something. more. Like, you feel me? It's, it's more like, like some shit your dad would say to you. You feel yeah, me? That's like how I look head. at Nas and and Hove. It's like I might not want to bump what you're hit, what you're saying, but I'm already a respect it and listen to it. Yeah, because you're probably seeing some shit. Yeah. But not it's not an everyday but it's not it's not shit you're bumping the whip like you know why you're trying to I mean I could go in the car right now and listen to Uzi strictly from here all the way to Boston like like, you know what I mean it's it's different times bro music's different everything changes change is constant you know what I mean so Mm, I got a question what do you say about like speaking about old heads and shit you know how like these old heads bro these 40 year olds bro they're raised in the 90s they say the golden era of rap is in the 90s and will forever stay in the 90s they lying what's your, <laughs> yeah what's your, what's you your know what actually like i'll that? give them that if they want rap if that's what they want like if an old head's gonna t- come to me and be like y'all listen lyrical anymore y'all like, like honestly i don't want to hear that because this is like bro you gotta realize all right this this is hard this is hard to, to talk about because it's like you don't want to disrespect no one. I don't want to disrespect no one, no. and I don't want anyone to misinterpret what I'm trying to say. You feel me? Take your time, bro. Take your time. You feel me? So it's like, all right, so boom, you got the 80s and 90s, right? Boom, bat starts coming around. What do you think their parents were saying? 
What the fuck is this shit? The turn that you, shit off, bro. Turn that shit off. Mm-hmm. They keep working on it. It elevates. You know what I mean? It gets better and better and better and better. Now we in the 2010s, whatever. You know what I mean? Now them older niggas that was young niggas at one point talking about niggas ain't rapping like they used to. Well, yeah. Well, niggas wasn't rapping like you were when you was younger either. Mm-hmm. You got to realize every five to ten years, this music shit is going to change drastically. Now yeah. we're using auto-tune. We're using reverb we're using lower pitch higher pitch we're just getting crazy with the beats we're doing hyper pop beats with 808s like nigga, if you would have brought a edm beat with 808s to fucking jay-z 12 years ago he would have been like what are you he would have started laughing what probably. are you doing yeah. like you know what i'm saying so and now you can hear cardi on 12 of those motherfuckers and you're like it's just going you know what yeah. i mean so it's like bro oh like that's what i'm saying when, my, when i'm 40 getting older like I'm not going to be in little niggas' face like, man, we used to make... Because, bro, it's a whole different ball game. It's not your game no more. Mm. It's not your feel. Like, you over there, bro. You know what I mean? Like, you don't even got to worry about this right here. So when older heads is telling me, like, you, they don't understand us. They trying to tell us to understand the music, but they don't understand us. They don't understand that we are... We, you was in the same shoes we in. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you was trying to break... You was trying to get this to break through, too, at one point. Rap... You was trying to get rap to make be a thing at one point too. So, what I like to call what we do now is more like a sauce rap. It's more of like, it's not rapping. It's more of like a sauce. Like it's gonna be melodic. It's gonna be catchy. It's gonna be repetitive. Like that's mm. what our type of genre for our generation is. We we're repetitive, poppy, melodic music. We're not fucking. I mean, of course you have your rappers. You have Kendrick, J Cole. Yada yada yada. Yeah, yeah. But I'll put, Griselda, I'll put Luke in that box. Griselda's like Joey Badass. Oh no, it's Benny the Butcher. Joey Badass. Butcher and all them dudes. It's not Griselda. I never heard of him. Benny the Butcher. Who else? Uh, Benny the Butcher. 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 Benny the Nah, that's three different groups. Yeah, Joey yeah. Badass is in a different group. Flatbush Zombies is Flatbush Zombies. Yeah, and then Joey Griselda, Griselda is, is like Benny the Butcher. Because I listened to a, a um, project that was Griselda's project, and Joey Badass was in it, I think. Nah, it was probably it's, a feature. Uh, what's his name? Um, I, uh, I, Whatever. We'll search that up later. But uh, what were you saying, bro? Um, um, I don't remember. I don't remember either. Damn. I was about to ask a question, too, and I got this... this. Oh, you, I got forgot it too. Oh shit, my fault, bro. I, I think just long story Zelda. short. Oh, oh, you were saying that they um, you know, obviously there's rappers like there's still rappers like Kendrick Cole. Oh, and, and I, I said, and Zelda. I said I would put Luke in that box because I think Luke got bars. Right. I mean, his name is okay. Luke Bars. But okay, with that, Luke got bars. I know he do. I make music with him, but he got sauce too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's gonna give you that melodic. Andre Kalenko, yeah. And wrapped the wrapped around it. Like you go, it's gonna make you wanna. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not. Niggas don't wanna hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas wanna be lit. We in a whole different. This is the future, bro. Like you feel me? Like we a future. Like if they was looking at us, you know what I'm saying? This is what they should expect. What do they they expect for us to do? 90s boom bat for fucking. 40 forever. years, nigga, forever. like, forever, like, want. bro, that shit is just how there wasn't rap one day, you know what I mean, and then rap came a thing, just how there wasn't jazz one day, and jazz, nigga, new shit happens all the time. In 10 years, it'll probably be something different, yeah. too. So what do you think, so what do you think, what you think we're gonna, like, you're saying music's ever evolving, right? So do you think we're gonna go past this, like, turn up age that we're in, and w- w- what's, like, the future for him? I'm calling it now. The future for music is going to be combining genres. Oh, combining genres. like you said, like Johan, like Johan, like classical, with like, like me, like uh, like Lil Nas, X. like Lil Nas X. I'll give it to him. Like a lot of people, a lot of artists are doing that right now. Young Thug, Uzi, Cardi. You know what I mean? Like just combining genres. You got EDM and you got you got drill. Let's put it together. You got that's fire. Afro that's beats. That's what you do, right? That's what I do. You yeah. got Afro beats, but you got a little bit of Spanish music. Put it together. Yeah. You got that's country. Rap, that's you got rap. Handle, bro. Cowboy talk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like you gotta put shit together now and and make newer shit. It's like it's like making it's like when niggas was making new colors. Like 
put yellow with blue, you get green. You put whatever, whatever, you get. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like it's the same shit. It's just it's man. It's just gonna be mad genres just yeah. combined. That's what I feel like the next move is because it's like unless someone makes a genre which i would love to do i've always said i want to do that but i don't even know how i start but i'm gonna figure it out yeah like you but gotta come up with a whole different sound whole different sound a different pace pace sound everything everything bro but and then like you gotta like find a way to like how are you gonna express yourself through that right. shit. Mm. that's com- complicated shit it's but. complicated shit but i want to do it it's yeah. like it's like making a new medicine as a doctor or something yeah. you know yeah, right. and then you become the guy to fucking invent whatever. The cure for cancer. I yeah. Literally, I was going to say, now I cured cancer. Yeah, you know I mean? <laughs> now I have another genre. Like, yeah. That's so. crazy, bro. Yo, yo I was going to ask, uh, you know, we were talking about the future. Like, what's the future for you? Like, what you got next coming up for you? Yeah, bro. What are you expecting? You know? Man, all right, so yeah, I just dropped and Glean My Trust. You know what I'm saying? Stream that everywhere. Bump that shit. Bump stream that, that every- Yo, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not streaming that, I'm telling you right now. In the whip. In the whip. Slacking. You got to stream Back. that shit in the whip. In the whip. With the bass going, bro. Loud. That shit's crazy. Blow your mother's speakers out. <laughs> <laughs> um, nah, I just dropped and Glean My Trust. You know, um, me and the Gleams, we just been working. You know, we got individual projects coming out from everyone else in Gleam. Um, and I just think... I think it's just really like there's not really a certain thing I'm on to next. It's just just know a lot is coming. Like mm. content wise, music wise, like you know, videos, everything, everything. Like everything you can think of, clothes, it's all coming, bro, cuz I feel like with this 3 year period I took to myself, I held back and I niggas didn't even know what I was doing at one point like you still making music, what are you doing? So it's like this year Especially, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, this nigga's on his shit. He's dropping clothes, he's dropping music. I'm trying to drop another tape at the end of September. Oh, oh, oh! So, you know, oh, yo, breaking news, exclusive. yo, exclusive. You, you gotta look out for that shit. I'm telling you, on God, oh man, that's so, just coming soon. That's next month, right? At the end, yo. So I'm trying to go crazy this year, but I'm trying to flood. I want to flood the streets. I want to flood. I want to show niggas what I've been working on. I want to show niggas. Trying to get back in the, uh, on the stage and shit, too. I'm trying to get back on the stage. I got a show Saturday. Saturday, bro. If you're in MASH, bro. I mean, this is not... Yeah, I was going to say, this is not... Sunday, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was last Saturday, It bro. was last Saturday. <laughs> and it was lit. <laughs> it was lit. Yeah, fact. We're going to be there. We were there. Facts. Yeah. Nah, but yeah, bro. I'm trying to perform more. I'm just trying to get tapped in with more of my artist side, bro. Like you said, I'm taking mm. photos now. Like, yeah. I want to model more. Like, mm. I just want to do a bunch of shit besides the music to get me in a different place in music. You know, yeah. sometimes you got to be inspired by different shit to mm-hmm. make this type of music or whatever. Like, so I just want to get into a different, whole different realm of Donald Grunge. Like, Something known another like, new level, another new level. You know what I'm saying, y'all, Facts. y'all had the cowboy talk. You know what I mean? The cowboy grunge. This shit is more like a hyper pop rap type shit. The next one, like, I, I do want to slow it down. I do want to do some R&B shit in the future. Like, okay, you know, so I want to do a lot of shit, bro. I got a lot of genres in this phone, bro. Like, I make a lot of shit. You know what I mean? So I definitely want to showcase that. My fucking god, my bro. guy, bro. My fucking Chelsea bro. bread. Man, right That's there, you I'm know saying, the fucking bro. vibes. That's what I'm saying, bro. Yo, bro, where where did Gleam come from, bro? How how that come about, bro? Hot shit, literally, just with niggas like, all right, I'm sick of this. Like, we need a name as a collective. You know, same shit y'all was on. Like, what the fuck gonna be our name type shit? And I'm just, I literally, I was wearing, I don't have the BB on. I got it in my back. I I was wearing BB's OD at this time, like, and I was just like, bro, we gleaming, like. Literally said it like that, like we gleaming, like we just shining, bro. <laughs> type shit. And niggas like, I kinda fuck with it. That type shit, you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. yeah. I was like, I'm gonna drop the A though and put another E. Like, this is gleam, like we gleam, type shit. And you know, niggas was like, eh, you know what I mean? Like, cause you know, when you start something like that, it's like, alright, where we started it, now what? And it's like, as the creator of it, you gotta push it into gear. Push so, it, yeah. Boom, I started getting the logos ready, I started getting the hats ready. I named my tape and Glee My Trust before it was even a tape. Like, I was, this, this, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, this is going to call it and Glee My Trust. I'm going to put this out. It's going to be for the Gleams, you know, and. That's fire. To yeah, bro. I just, I just really wanted to make a collective of my friends and I wanted it badly. So I sat there for a week and a half or two and just thought of names and why I would name myself that. And Gleam just fit. It was just, we're all stars. We shine. We 
stand out, we're gleaming. gleaming. That's why it got the star and the G, right? Exactly. Like a shooting star and the G. Exactly. Shirt. That's just fire. Exactly. I see, the I see it. Now. I see, I the see it. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were discussing like, yo, why do you think he called it gleam? Bro? Yeah, man. I it's, see the vision. It's now. really just as simple as that. We just all stars, bro. And we all outshine. That's Everything. Just dope, bro. So we just gonna gonna be gleaming to the end. I want a fucking shirt even more now. Yeah. 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 Right. I gotta get you both the shirt. We got you. We're trying to get some messy room gear out. Yeah, we'll definitely. Yo, we'll we'll definitely give you one. We we got some prototypes and shit, but we kind of like you know. Nah, we got you, bro. But sure. what, when it comes out, you're definitely gonna appreciate show. y'all, man. Well, yeah, man. But yo, la- all right, last question, real quick. How did you get the name Donald Grunge? Ah, that's a good one. Um, Never had that written down. That was my next one too. My God. <laughs> fucking. So, growing up, like not growing up, maybe like high school ish. Yeah. Um, I had a friend that had put me on to the band Nirvana. Chat it on me, right here. It's my favorite band. Um, you said what? Nirvana? Nirvana. Nirvana, right? All yeah. Right. That's what I thought. I was like, you listen to Nirvana? That's Hell yeah, fire. it's just tattooed on my stomach. Fire, bro. Yeah, bro. This is Kurt Cobain's drawing straight from his book. I got this when I was 17. Mm. But I've always loved Nirvana, and Kurt Cobain's middle name is Donald. Okay. And he made grunge. Donald Grunge. Put it together. Hey, that was my name. Oh, oh, that's so fucking... Oh, that's dope, bro. That's dope uh, as shit. That's dope as and shit. I love grunge. It's just raw, you know. That's what it stands for. It's just raw, the purest form of whatever it is. Like grungy, you know what I mean? Like yeah. if you're wearing your jeans and they're grungy, that means you've been wearing them hoes. Like, and it's just like all that style, the ripped jeans and the flannels and the band t-shirts. Like that all came from Kurt, but that was all grunge shit. So it's total grunge. Oh that was man, just, yeah. I was over here thinking you, you you named yourself after Gambino, bro. Oh yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's what I was like. I'm, I'm you know. Yeah, I'm grunge, Donald Grunge. Donald Grunge, Fire, that's fucking dope. The, the way you introduced yourself, we were like, "Yo, what's good? I'm Grunge." I was like, "All right, that's uh, that, that right. shit. That shit's yeah, all yeah, right." Yeah. Some yeah, people, man. some people use their governments. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hell no, I, I like never that. I like use that. my government. Yeah. <laughs> I can't stand my government. Like, <laughs> I like but, that shit, bro. Yeah, grunge, man. bro. Yo, Donald that's grunge. fucking cr- Donald Grunge. Yo, <laughs> that's fucking dope, bro. Oh, Yo, God, that bro. shit clicked in his head, bro. Right? <laughs> nah. No, but it does that a lot of times. You know bro, what I mean? Like, like I'll be talking to people, they will be like, "Wow, like that's a good idea." I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, bro." Like, it it took me a second, but like I was on some. It, when you're younger, you know, you just got the your brain's always going, so you just always thinking. And like, I was really just thinking hard. Like, I need a name. I need one. Like. And I just did my research of what of shit I really fucked with heavy, and, and Nirvana was one of them. And I was in this Nirvana hole for a second where I just love Nirvana OD. Like I didn't want to listen to yeah, anything yeah, else. The shirt and everything, right? Shirts, tattoo, like wow. everything, bro. The journal, his his journal, like this is straight out of his written journal that he that they published after he died. Like you know what I mean? I got this shit. Like these are the only two tattoos. I mean, I have four, but that, that I really like. You know what I mean? Have meaning for like the other ones is just like just some dumb shit. But like these shits actually meant a lot to me when I was a kid, like or a teenager. You know what I mean? Like so, I just was like, yeah, I need to, I need to do it for bro. I need to do it for Kurt Cobain and Nirvana. How much they inspired me. Like mm. I want to carry on their name in my own way, which is Donald Grunge. You always Grunge. hear about Nirvana if you're talking to Donald Grunge. You know what I mean? so, uh, it's fucking I feel dope, that, bro. bro. I feel that. That's dope. Oh man, you. Fire, bro. Yo, you, yeah, got, you got this guy. You, you got, you got good, me bro. cheesing, bro. That shit's crazy. Bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Yo, cause like, alright, bro. I always, t- always talk about like, yo, like you know when someone says some shit, like, bro, you listen to Kendrick, bro, and then he says a crazy ass bar, and you're like, oh shit, that's yeah. how I feel, bro. Right. That's how I feel right now, like, yo, that shit was fucking nuts, bro. That's just, oh, oh man, bro. that's fucking crazy, bro. I, lo- I love that you asked that question, bro. <laughs> you were gonna ask it either way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I know that, you know, I, we were watching that interview that you had with the museum, right? Yeah. And you were saying that how you used to, like, play drums in the church and shit. Yeah, and, like, oh, yeah, and Salvation I, Army, right there yeah, in front of the movie. What's funny, oh, my, okay. my cousin my cousin said you were at the Salvation Army when we were there, too, while you were used to go in the summer. Yep. That, that, I mean, this is random. That, that, That's he crazy. Said, he, said, he said, yo, yeah. Who's your I cousin? Was, uh, his name is Jonathan. Jonathan Arazzo. Jonathan Arazzo. They Why called do- him Eggy? They called Nah, nah, but he, was, he wasn't Eggy back then. Oh, they called... Cause that was that was way. This is way. Why do like, I know that name? This is like fourth grade, Razzle. bro. You gotta show me. He, he got he got an older yeah. brother's name, Ugo, Ugo Razo, también. 
I know both of them niggas. Yeah, yeah, yep. they're brothers. Those are my cousins. Okay. And I asked him, I was like, yo, you know who this kid is? Because I was like trying to like, you know, do my research on him. Right. He was like, yeah, bro, he used to go to Salvation Army when we used to go. And I was like, bro, I've probably been in the same room with you mad times. Bro, bro. this nigga lived in the same street as me. Yeah, like, it's probably the same <laughs> building, bro. It's Chelsea, it's Chelsea, bro. That's shit. Small, Chelsea's small the city, bro. Bro, bro, like, but yeah, I used to play drums at the, at the Salvation Army, bro. But my mom, um, like, went to church OD and, um, there was this dude, I think his name was Jonathan, that was working there or whatever. And I just always, like I said, I always liked rock music. Like, I always liked rock stars. Like, the idea of it, everything, just all of it. I was like, yo, it's all cool. So, when I seen the drums, I'm like, I mean, I was like, this is my opportunity to learn. But on the same tip, I'm like, this is church music. Like, yeah. God for, I mean, I don't want to be playing church music. Like, yeah. it's just, like, not what I want to do. But it was cool for the experience, like, to learn how to play drums. And sometimes you would hand over the guitar. Or, like, I would, I was singing a lot, too, in church. Like, Bro. that's really where I, I learned how to be melodic. Yeah, hell yeah. So you still play the drums? You think you can still play the drums? Yeah. Yeah, my boy, actually, that's picking me up. He, um, he's in a band. He got drums at his crib. I was literally there two days ago playing them. Honest to God, I love I love instruments. I don't know how to, like I can't sit here and be like, yeah, I know how to play this instrument. But any instrument you give me, I can I can figure out something. Like you're gonna hear some type of melody come from that instrument if I'm yeah. sitting down with it. Especially pianos, like I'm more of like a free, like I just hear it and I just find the keys myself, like whatever sounds good. Yeah, that's crazy. Nah, I was gonna say because like. You go from playing music in church and now you're fucking talking about guns and shit in your music, yo. Like, how the fuck did you go How's from, that switch happen? Uh, yeah, how did yeah. that switch happen, bro? I mean, like I said, bro, I found it. I seen the opportunity and I took it, you know. Um, niggas, niggas go to church every day but still kill niggas, you yeah. know. Mm. Not True. saying I'm on that True. shit. Uh, Escobar, but, Escobar did that. He went to church all the time, But bro. you feel what I'm saying, though? It's like, at the end of the day, bro, that church, you know what I mean, like, it was important to my mom, you know, and it was a place that I felt safe. It was a place that I felt like I'd be myself. Mm. So when the opportunity was given me, like, you want to sing? You want to play some drums? And I don't have drums at home because, you know, we too broke. Or I don't have a mic. Or I don't have... I could go to church and I could sing on a mic that's already paid for and, and hear how I sound. And no one's in the church but me. You feel me? Like, and I'm just... Yeah learning how to do this shit you know what i mean so i'm grateful for that and it's like the other shit i talk about now is just shit i've always been talking about i'm just more i just make music now you feel me or it's mm. like i'm more vocal about it but i wasn't recording back then you know what i mean i wasn't like recording tracks when i went to you know salvation army yeah, church yeah, yeah. and shit so i was fucking around like, i was literally just singing music. in the church like that's yeah. when i sang i didn't even know i was gonna make music you feel me like this yeah. is young this is when i was like 11 yeah, yeah. 10 you feel me so I didn't start making music till I was out of high school. Like, mm. my last year of high school, I made my first song, dropped it, got like 200K. No bullshit. I know, I heard, you didn't say, what, what's the name of the song? I couldn't uh, find that shit. I deleted it. It's, um... Oh, it's, so it's not, yeah. It just I had, wouldn't be like, able to find it even I think I it had, I like, three money signs. It just it didn't have no name. Oh, all right. Because I tried to see, because I seen that you were talking about that. I was trying to look we for it, but I couldn't it, figure yeah. it out. We probably played that shit right there, bro, on that TV. Thank God you didn't. <laughs> I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I'll show y'all after the show, but song's trash but nigga it hit 200k and i was like i'm doing this rap shit like you feel me like i'm just gonna try it out like, like right from the start then right from the start bro it. right from the start i was like yeah i'm about to start doing this shit like fuck it but at that time in the church i wasn't thinking about recording shit i was just like i like singing and this is where i can sing so i did it you know what i mean so are you still religious or not i think back then it was more of like a force like yeah, i was forced you you feel me, yeah. to go to church I'm not gonna sit here and say I don't believe in a higher yeah. being. Nah, I was just gonna. That, the reason I ask you because like I want to know like, you know, especially in something like this where you're trying to pop off and you know become something big. Yeah. You need a lot of faith. Like, how does of how course. does faith like come out in your life? Mm. Mm. That's a great question, bro. That's a good ass question. I think, I think really, it's it's all it's all on me. You know, I I look at myself as I am my own god. You know, I, I control what I do. I think what I want. I say what I want. You know, this is my life. I'm my own God. So I have faith in myself. So when I, when I'm sitting there, I'm like, fuck, I can't make this song today. This a little voice that's like, nigga, what are you talking about right now? Like, you are God in this world. Like, you feel me? Like, in my world that I live in, mm -hmm. I'm God. 
because yeah, you're the creator of your of your life and your world. Therefore, I could do whatever I want to do in my world. Facts. Mm. So I'm like, nigga, you could make this song. Like you've done this before. You're God. You can do anything. So do it. Not specifically like that. The conversation doesn't happen in my head, yeah, yeah, but yeah. that's what, that's like that's the idea of it, right? What's going on is I have faith in myself, like, mm. and I have faith in my music and. I just believe in myself, so I just know whatever, whatever I, my gut feeling is, whatever I trust that is right is gonna, be, is gonna be right, and it's That's gonna crazy, be go bro. good. It's gonna go. I feel the same way, you know bro. I mean? I, I've legit told people that, like, since I was a kid, like, I remember back in the in the right, bro. I was in eighth grade. That was the first time I was like, yo, I'm an atheist. Like, I was just, it wasn't like I was truly like, you know, I don't believe in God. It was more like I, I was starting to question, like, faith and like life and shit like that. And that's when I I always used to say, like, all I could do is believe in myself. And, like, like, as a little kid, I was saying that. And now when I say it to myself, it's like, it means a whole different meaning when I say that shit. Yeah, bro. But but what's crazy is, like, we got a boy that, that like, he, he got, like, the utmost faith in God and, like, Jesus and, like, in, in the Bible, right? And he's like, yo, I, the reason I'm like that is because I need my foundation to be rock solid. Because, like, when the times are tough, like, you know, he, he explains it like a house. That's someone who likes to be comfortable. Uh, nah, I don't know. Nah, because he's... That's that's what we were talking about earlier. Like when we was doing the skit, you know what I mean? And I'm like, you gonna stay here forever if you fifty fifty. Like, I feel you, but like yeah, it's like yeah. I feel like it's like something you gotta fall back on. It's like yeah. you're scared. You're scared to live you your think life. It's fear. I it's think fear. it's supposed to be. I it's think he's thinking it somewhat. the opposite way. Cause like I I kind of picture it like when he talks about it, kind of the opposite, where he's like, when it's times to be fearful. His faith is so strong that everything's gonna be all right because of you know Jesus and everything that way, he doesn't need to have. The way fear. he explains it is because his base right is his faith, right? So he has a strong base. So imagine like a house on, on like a beach. Right. So when the, when the waves come right or treacherous times come right, and you you know if his base is good, then the house won't get swept. That's right. What, that, that's but if how, it sounds like something, right, something not solid like. But the if sand. you're the whole crib, and you're not moving like my crib. Yeah. I'm a brick. <laughs> that wave ain't touching me or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm my foundation. Then, then I feel more secure with my life yeah. rather than relying on God okay. to tell me yeah. what my life's supposed to be like. like. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I think it's still good to have, you know, some. I mean, I'm not gonna judge. My mother is very religious, like very, very, very religious. She goes to this church. She goes to the same church to this day. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. I don't think it's bad to believe in God and have someone or something like God to fall back. Not fall back on, but just when you have rough times on, and right? rely on. I don't think it's bad, but I think being someone who just relies on themselves makes you a stronger person. You so, you know, like he can say, oh, well, I have I have fearful times, but not but most of the times my faith over. What, with me, it's like, Okay, if I have a fearful time, like I know I'm gonna get myself over that. So like, I don't know. I just it's it's a touchy subject. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's, it's yeah. nah. It's cause cause the reason I like I eat like this whole conversation is cause like when you were talking about yo, I got the you know utmost faith to myself. I feel that way too. But there be times where I'd be like, damn, yo, like am I really the person I say that I am? And like that's where I kind of lose that faith in myself. And I, I was like wondering, do you go through that shit too? I mean, that's 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 a human being thing. Yeah. You so know? like like how that's, do you get over that? How do you truly have faith in yourself so hard that it's like that rock that the house will never fall? Just like just like how you got faith in or not you specifically, but yeah. just how people got faith in God, and when they need some resol like what's that word? You know, like um, to to remind themselves, mm. they read the Bible. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. Or they go to church, they pray, yeah. they. Do whatever that church involves, whatever you know. Mm. When I'm, I'm not that nigga. Let me put my song on real quick. Let's do this shit. Mm. Like what? Was, let me watch this video I was just in. Oh, I look like that. Let me, you know what I mean. Let me remind myself who I am. Okay. Just how mm. people remind themselves of what their faith is yeah. every Sunday, yeah. every whatever day you go to church. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's just the same thing that people do to apply to like religion is the same thing you should do for yourself like Facts. you know what i mean like Facts. when you when you when they feel down like let me read the bible and see why i feel down no how about you 
figure it out. You know what I mean? For like yourself. and for yourself, so you know. Oh, that's why I was down. That'll never be me again. You feel me? Like, cause I know what gets me there, and I know how to get out of it. So I won't ever be in that situation. Mm, I was gonna say that I do. I do something similar where, like, I'll be I, I'll be complaining about my life, right, or whatever, and then I'll think, like, damn, look, <coughs> why the fuck are you complaining when you've gone through some crazier shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm over here complaining about something that's all right, yo, like, yo, they're giving me fucking. 45 hours instead of 40. You know what I mean? Right. Something stupid. And you're like, damn. I remember there was a time where, bro, I had to eat McChickens every day because I couldn't I couldn't afford food and shit. Word. You know what I'm saying? Word. I was in debt and shit. And, I, like, and I'd be like, yo, why the fuck are you complaining that you got more money in your pocket, bro? So that, that like, like I agree. Like, yo, that constant reminder that, yo, you, you've been through the worst. Or you've, you know, you're that guy, bro. Yeah. I, I definitely agree with you, bro. You feel me? Definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. That should, yo. I just, I just like to think about how, how we're like, the human, human mind is like you were saying it earlier. The human mind is crazy, bro. Crazy, like, bro. yo, it'll, crazy. it'll tear you down or bring you up like crazy, depending or on how both. you use that shit or do both. Sometimes yeah. tearing you down brings you right back up. Yeah, that's facts. Now, that is facts. It, you know, it, you tear a building down. What are they doing next week? They're building another, another one right one, up. Yeah. Mm, same shit, bro. Like you said, you don't physically leave. Until you leave, you know what I mean, or whatever. But when you're getting broken down, it's not physical. You feel me? But you get built right back up. It's it's just it's just part of life, bro. You know what I mean? But I feel like it's just the thing. The thing that concerns me is that I feel like you know, like our generation specifically, right? We we've gone through some. We we go through shit all the time, right? We've gone through some shit. But then I feel like we, you know, we kind of go through it, you know. Whereas like where I see my, you know, my little brother, right? He'll go through some shit, but he won't, like, he'll kind of, like, it's, like, hits him harder. I don't know how to explain mm. it. Kind of hits him harder. You know what I mean? So how do you, like, like, oh. you got They got to learn for themselves is yeah. what I say. Because That's more of just a growing thing. It's, yeah. like, you know, when you're a kid, not a lot of shit makes sense because you're a kid. Yeah. And you haven't been here for a long mm-hmm. time. Like, mm-hmm. if you're 7 to 10, 11, like, You've realistically been on this earth for 10 years. Like, what do you <laughs> know? You, were, you probably remember only six years it, of that life. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, even, like so right. So, it's like, bro, when you're a kid, you just got so much to learn on your own. Which brings me back to the faith thing. It's like, of course, there's little kids that are religious because of their parents. Yeah. But, nigga, when you're a little kid, you know what I mean? You're like, you're going to rely on yourself. Your faith is in yourself. You're like, oh, fuck, I fucked up. Like... I'm not gonna be like God. Please don't let me fuck up. You're gonna be like I can't do that again. You know what I mean? Like that's what the little kid's gonna say. He he threw a rock through the window. He knows he fucked up. I can't do that again. He's not gonna be like God. Don't Especially ever let me. An undercover cop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, bro. Like I just feel like growing up. You know, you you learn. You know, you go through your own trials and tribulations. You learn yourself. You know. Yeah. I definitely. Damn, that was some wise words, bro. You, Look, would you ever put some of that into your music? You know, it's so funny you say that because, like, I be trying to, but when I make music, I overthink a lot. Uh-huh. I'm an overthinker in general. That's why I talk so much. You know what I mean? And I yeah. have so much to say always because I overthink everything. But mm. um, I, I would like to. You know, when you get older, like, like I'm saying, like, again, you know, I'm getting older. I'm 24. Four years old, you know, I'm about to be 25 in January. I don't want to be talking about blicks and streets I'm from and, you know, all of that shit. Like, I want to talk about real shit. You know what I mean? That's why it's like, I feel Nas, you know what I mean? But you got to do that shit in an earlier age, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not about to be 45 telling niggas how to live their lives, like, mm. Y'all should know. You know what I mean? Like, that's or, just me. That's just me yourself. personally. Like yeah. me, very, very personal. I'm just saying. Like, yeah, oh, you're gonna figure it out. I'm always. That's my man. Be saying too. Like when I make music, it's always very personal. Like when I make songs, like I don't make them for people. Like I make them for me. Like mm. I'll be saying personal. Sh- like bar for bar. Like down to the names I'm using. Like it's very personal because I don't. Ah oh, man, what I just I just lost my train of thought. Um, it's personal. What 
the fuck was I gonna say? You saying you saying when you're making music, it's, it's personal. Pressure, you be putting people like the names in and everything is real. But would you ask before that? I asked you, would you put like the faith stuff in the oh, music? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's personal. So like when I'm making the slower music or like when you say like touch your subjects or whatever, yeah. like if I'm not like talking to y'all about it, mm. I'm not really thinking about it because like I'm just not trying to. No bullshit. When I'm making music, I'm like, like you said, like, what do you get that energy? Like, yeah, you just when to I make up. music, the first emotion I channel is energy or whatever excitement. Yeah, like I want to make a fun track. I want to make something that's banging. I want to make something that's gonna get people going like this. But then, of course, there's other songs. There's a lot of songs I have in my notes that are just more like mellow, chill, like real life situations. Me talking about real things, like how we're talking about right now. So I don't want to say I don't do it at all. But I'm trying to get to a point where I'm older now, so I want to do it in a better way where it's like, I just want to make mature music. You know, I don't want to be making this shit, for, like this type of shit forever. Mm-hmm. I want to be mature, like about my music. But you still like the music you make. Of course. Of course, I got, yeah. I, I got a question, bro. So, you know you know uh, how Kanye's dropped, like, like, does mad leaks for Donda and stuff, right? Yeah. And I was listening to it, right? And Jason was saying so. it's disrespectful to listen to Donda when it's not officially out. Do you, would you agree or disagree? Like, like for example, like, let's say... I'm going to go ahead and agree. You agree? Me? Off bat, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's facts. I told you that. That's and, because I'm an artist. Yeah, I was going to ask, as an artist, how do you And that's about? like me, like, you're like, yo, here's the video we're about to drop next week. And I'm like, or I'm about to post it on my Instagram. And you're like, nah, drop it next week. And I'm like, nah, I'm posting it on my Instagram. Everyone's going to watch it today. Mm. You're like... What the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, or, or if it's something mad personal, you're talking about. You feel yourself, me? Like, and, and it's just like, taking that shit like it's yours. Like, yeah. Bro, that's I mean, it's not entirely like, yo, why would you do that? Because you didn't leak it. But me personally, like, I'm not gonna sit here and say I've never bumped a leaked song. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Obviously, like oh. a Kendrick Lee, I'd be like, Dude. you feel me? <laughs> like, but that's the thing about it. It's like, I, I wanna off rip say I'm gonna agree with you because it's the right answer, but. You can't help it when an artist is so good. Like, for example, if I was in Kanye's position, and someone was so excited to get my leaks to the point where they're just bumping it OD, they're just like, oh my God, I can't wait for this shit to actually come out. Like, that makes me feel good. Because I'm like, yo, you love my music so much that you just get, like, what'd you say? Kendrick drop a song? I'm like, this. Yeah. I want people like that for Grunge. Like, mm. Grunge drop? Where? Leak? Send it to me. You know what I mean? Like, they're excited for my shit. So, yes, it is, in a way, disrespectful because of how much time an artist and care he puts into a project. But at the same time, it's a fucking compliment because you're like, yo, I couldn't wait to hear this. I had to hear it. Like, I had I had to have this music. Mm-hmm. So, I feel you. Bro, think about me like feeling this. bad now because, bro, oh, God, bro. I was like... Yo, Jake, you gotta listen to this shit. Nah, just going crazy. And he no, was but like, like I said, I'm not listening like, to that shit until it drops. I was like, whoa, what do you mean? He's like, that's mad disrespectful. I really I feel both that. sides, bro. Like, wholeheartedly, 50 50. Because I feel you. Like, I, I, was, I said the same thing. You know, people try to show me Donda. I was like, I don't want to hear it yet. Like, because I know he's going to add shit. You yeah. know what I mean? I know he's, he's going to make it. Like, he, like, there's a reason he didn't drop a, it yet. You feel me? But then, but then this thing. But like, then this thing is like you're saying, like, like you said too, like, nigga, if I hear a country, shit, nigga, if I hear a Uzi, if someone sends me an Uzi leak right now, I'm listening to it <laughs> on the show. <laughs> like, <laughs> so I, I can't be mad at that. I can't be mad at people that are supporters and real fans of these artists. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, you really support. I'm sure you support and in, in a in our big fan is a big fan of Kanye. So you're probably just genuinely excited to hear it. Let me give you one, right? All right, all right. Let's say. You come to my crib, right? And that painting is not there anymore. Somebody stole that <laughs> shit and they got that shit hung up in their house, bro. I would be tight, dog. I'd That's be tight. kind of I'd the same tight. idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, it. I get it. No, that, I, that that has a meaning to us. I, I understand, but like, it's art. My, my take on it is what is what you're saying, bro. I didn't do it maliciously. I wasn't like, yo, I'm right, a, I'm I'm gonna leak this shit. That's why I was That's saying, not, like, I was. If you leaked it. That's different. That's a different story. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's I a bitch ass, yeah, that's that's a bitch ass nigga right there. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> the nigga that leaks the music is a bitch ass nigga because what that means is you were someone either a close to the artist because you have to be you have to know that person Bro, right because them know. files are they're sacred right they go between everyone. This is how it's gonna work on. right. Say this is a studio right here. Say that's the computer. Say I just made a song. 
that song's either A, gonna stay on the computer, B, I'm gonna transfer it to a hard drive and take it with me, which all artists should do, bring your hard drives to studios, take all your music and delete it off the computers. Mm. But, so the engineer that was at the studio could have easily just gave it to somebody else or someone got access to the computer, A, or B, it was on some shit where I was like, yo, gang, I'm about to send you this song, and you was like, word, I'm about to put it out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's most likely one of those two situations. It's never like, I mean, some artists do leak shit on purpose. Like, Uzi be doing that. Yeah. Like, just to get yeah. the hype. Just to get the hype out. Mm-hmm. Which is like, it's cool. But he understands, he understands the shit I'm it's saying. marketing, though. He understands what I'm saying. Like, it's was, like the cool Uzi side of it. Was Uzi the artist that one time he, like, started playing a song he had never played before, and then the whole crowd started bumping that, like, they were singing every word Probably. To the song? I wouldn't doubt it. I think it was Uzi, bro. Yeah, you I think it was, it was, a, it was a, um, it was the, um, New paddock on my wrist. Like, that shit is very... So I, I think maybe, maybe. I'm not sure. That new paddock shit, before it came out, everybody knew the lyrics. Yeah. Everybody. I remember I did. I mean... <laughs> But yeah, bro. Leaks us leaks are touchy subjects. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Yo, I'm talking. Nah, I just think about how like like yo I, I don't know if he said it on the show or like some or like on in a video. He was talking about how like when Travis was giving him the song, remember for him to do the the fucking I think it was on the show actually. He was like giving him the song that he did the what was it? The last song on the album? Um if I, if I see it I'll know. It's um fuck but he, he, he coffee helped, he, coffee bean I think it's coffee bean he, oh yeah yeah he yep. produced the end of coffee yeah. bean right so he wanted who, did, a, who, who produced the end of Johan oh, Johan he produced he put, the end the strings at the end of it yeah. he produced that right so I don't know Travis that. was trying to send him the song but they but they didn't want to send the song because they didn't trust him they're like I don't know who the fuck Johan Lennox right, is right. like they don't so what they did was like fucking change basically change up the whole like like the the sound like the tone and everything so it didn't really sound like the song it sounded like like if it was played out of a toaster or some shit it sounded ass but that's how much they go to save the music and for me to go I mean not me but like for Someone. a leaker to leak that shit that's some bullshit yeah, right and then true. on top of that that's why like I, I say it's like this like if I listen to the leak I'm giving that leaker a reason to leak another song because he's like, yo, somebody listen to this, yo. So I feel I'm that. So I'm like, yo, you can't partake in that bullshit. I feel that. Because then that more people Damn. are going to partake in that bullshit. But that shit was fine. I'm not saying it's not going to be fine. <laughs> I, I bet you went on the drops, everybody's going to have that shit right. in rotation. Yeah. I, but, <laughs> but the thing about Kanye is he has a fucking reputation. Yeah, no, he's he a He hyped piece, up yo. Yonda, Yandy. He was supposed to drop never Yandy, and that never shit never came out. out. Donna's been coming out for fucking five years already. A year, <laughs> year, 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 year. Yeah, but the listening party and everything, like, he got to drop it now. Come on. Yeah. This is his third one. This is his third listening party. He's doing another one in Chicago. He did bro. one in Atlanta. Bro, and then and then that's why he stayed inside the studio, because he, then he, I guess he didn't the like stadium, that at uh, the stadium, my man. He didn't the like stadium. how people reacted to it, and now he's so doing he stayed another in the reaction, stadium. reaction thing in Chicago. That's what I'm saying. Like, what it's are you his doing, third bro? listening part for the same album. Like, he's bro, you got trying, me like like a crack. That's trying marketing. He's just trying to hype. Nah, he's just trying to hype his shit. He's waiting for Drake, bro. He's waiting for Drake I to drop his album. Like I think that's what they're doing. I think, that's you know, probably, obviously it. the rumors, Jersey fucking, fuck Kim K and all that shit. Kiki, do you love me? And all that shit. And, you know, and then Kanye is, you know, he goes on an interview and he's like, I'll go fuck if you, you know, you say you fuck my wife. You shouldn't, like, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, I, I think they're playing chicken, bro. Right. They're trying to see who drops first. So I heard that, too. I don't know. I don't know no bullshit. I don't. I think they are, too. I think I think they both need to grow up, though, and just drop <laughs> this shit. Like, hey, but, I mean, it's, it's a best man like wins. That. It's a force, though. That's like, how I would be. The best man wins. If yeah. my music is good, yeah. which it is, it's going to go. No matter you drop before me, after me. Man. Never I, like my shit's gonna go. Day. On the same day, my shit's gonna go. It's gonna go. Drizzy's a force, though. Like, what are you doing? But Drake bro? He said, is he a said, force. I need to talk to Yeezus. We need to talk. What do you say? Oh man, I need to talk to Yeezus. We need- talk about Jesus. No. Oh, I need to talk about Jesus. Oh, or- I need to talk about Jesus. I need. Uh, no. Pretty much, he said it's like, like Yeezy. Yeah, so yeah. I, he I said, he know. said, um, uh, um, um. I started confessing my sins. He wouldn't believe, us. bro. Like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, this like. I don't know. He's like, a troublemaker, Drake. Yeah. yeah. He's hilarious, though. He's hilarious. He's, He's hilarious. <laughs> Yo, I would love to do that, have that dude on the show, bro. I should have been fucking time. Bro. That'd be hilarious. I would ask him, like, Yo, so did you really have to rent out Dodger Stadium for that shorty? Like, Absolutely. You, <laughs> yeah. Bro? You would do that, too, for a girl, bro? 
this dude's nice. If bro. I was Drake, if I had, let me not say that because I'm like saying if I was anybody because I'm me. Yeah. If I had Drake money, <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. Yo, absolutely. That's crazy. Who who are some of your inspirations in, in music, bro? Because I know you know I, I like you know me personally. Joe, I look up to Joe Rogan, you know, in terms of like you know podcasting. Fucking Sean Evans from mm -hmm. uh, Hot, Ones. Hot Ones, bro. Like, I, you know, there's people uh, out there where I'm like, man, this dude has such a great, like, flow of interviewing that I want to, you know, I don't want to be him, but I take some stuff yeah, from him, course. you know? So is there people like that for you? Of course. I mean, off off rip, I'm going to say Kanye, you know? Since a kid, Kanye taught me confidence. You know what I mean? Ta Kanye taught mm -hmm. me how to be Un myself. Unapologetic. Bro. Unapologetic. Bro, and that's facts. exactly who I am. That's always... You could ask people, you know, from that went to school with me, and he's always been that weird kid dressing weird, doing that. It's always been me, cause I've always done what I want because of Kanye and how he carries himself. So Kanye West and Lil Wayne will always be inspirations mm -hmm. of mine, like that. Like, man, they, like no one's topping them. Those like, if I have a top five, those are automatically in them. Like mm. Lil Wayne, Kanye, Young Thug, Uzi. Mm. I'm, I'm that fifth one is always hard the hardest one but those are definitely like the top inspirations though like I mean in Nirvana of course Nirvana, Nirvana inspired Biggie. me too mm. Biggie inspires me yeah not so much to the point where I'm like I'm gonna try to make a song that reminds me of Biggie but he inspires me for different reasons like mm how he was inspirational and how he was moving about amongst things and you know um just how he talked about shit or whatever like you he inspires up, me in different ways up to him in terms of the impact he made in hip hop exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly I get you. that's what i really yeah I, l I look at him yeah facts and then kanye and all them is just really music lil wayne for real you know like lil wayne with no lil wayne there'd be no thug no mm. thug Oh little Wayne There'd be no grunge So I'm Forever grateful for them mm. And Uzi what, So what's your Like writing process Like is it like Is it like Lil Wayne Where he just hops in the studio yeah. And starts rapping That's You don't write No Hey yo For real yeah, My just, boy Just hop in the booth Face bro So Bro how, how does that work bro You don't forget The shit you're saying bro You just record it And then keep stopping Yeah I'll either bro. record And punch in Or there'll be some shit on my mind and I'll just keep saying to myself like the, it was a hook or a line like da -da 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 -da, whatever and like you said I'll record it I'll hear it back if it's not good I'll do it again <clears throat> punch in punch in but I usually I usually just go in and just listen to the beat and say the first thing that come out my mouth <clears throat> and it just it usually goes like that that's nuts bro I, I, bro that's a skill like bro. So Sorry was a freestyle wow so sorry, it was That's a good song too. Like I'll write hooks sometimes. Like I'll write a hook and then freestyle the verse or something. But so sorry was straight through freestyle. Right here, here's a hook that I like a lot from yours. Uh, I think it's the Cowboy Talks one, where you're like, you're like, Better hold up, hold up, hold up, don't say it. I want to say. It. He goes, he goes. You say that we're equal. That's disrespectful. I'm better than you. Yeah. Bro, that shit, yeah. yo, I was like this. I knew it was going to be that one. I knew it was going to be that one. Yo, that's a crazy. You wrote that or you just said that shit? That one, I believe I wrote. That Most of Cowboy Talk, I wrote because I was trying to capture a whole different vibe um, that I never captured before. So I wanted to make sure I took my time with it. Mm. And I mean, I'm not going to say it. I mean, Guitar Grunge, the song Guitar Grunge, yeah. like I told y'all, that was one take. Yeah. Freestyle, no phone. Like I only I only heard the beat for twenty seconds. Like mm. they played the beat, I went in the booth, <clears throat> from top to bottom freestyle. Like even if you listen to the song for real, even the hooks sound different because I just went straight one through. And I mean like, and I remember that's the first time I remembered words in my head without having to write them. Like I remember that hook in my head while freestyling the verses. It was I I amazed myself, bro. I made that song in like literally ten minutes, not even. Like crazy. That's crazy, bro. I, I'm talking because I, I think, I, I think, I thought dudes were writing like crazy, bro. And fucking thinking up a storm, like if they're doing the MCAS. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Y'all gotta come to the I'm studio thinking. with me. Y'all be going I'll be crazy. I'll be down, dude. Yo, no invite, I'll be down. Yo, this dude's been trying to go to a studio Stu session. I would love, minute, bro, because I love to see the process. Like, yeah. you know, you saw the process, how we push it together. Like that for me, like even watching myself. Yeah, you're like, a big you production saw, you person. Yeah, I feel like rituals feel. and shit. Yeah, I, I fuck with that. Hell yeah. yeah. So nah, I would love to see how yeah. people. You Next know, time I get a session out here, you know what I mean. Or if y'all ever in LA, 
Word. I Pull got up you. on yo, me. Yo, bro. I don't know why this came to my head, but my like dream for this podcast, bro, is like I want to have a studio everywhere I go. Like for example, yep. like if I'm out in LA, my boy Grunge is out in LA. We doing us, us yep. we doing a podcast out in LA. If I'm out in Chicago, bro, and you know whatever Kanye's out in Chicago, Kanye hopping, you know, yep. just every anywhere I'm at, bro, I have time to talk and learn and get to like, mm-hmm. teach people or grow or learn something, bro. Like I, like that's my dream, bro. And it's travel with my best friend right here, bro. That shit would be fucking yeah, bro, nuts, bro. Just, Imagine, bro. Yo. Bro, there's no imagining. You just got to make it happen, bro. Ooh. I like that, bro. Yeah. I fucking like hey, that, like bro. Like he said in the video, yo, if you... Life happens, but if you let that shit... What was it? If you let you slow you up. If you let oh, it slow you slow, up. Slow you mm-hmm. up. Yeah, yeah. You ain't getting nowhere, bro. Yo, I got, I got like an inspirational quote you said from Twitter, bro. I work hard every day like someone trying to take this shit away from me, bro. That shit's fire, bro. I was th- when I. When I gotta I put that, that in the song, bro. You do, bro. I was, bro, you what stole is? the words right out of my mouth. I was like, bro, that shit has to be like a bar of the song, cause that's. No, nah, that fire, was just bro. off the top tweeting. <laughs> that's no fire, bro. Like, just... I'm telling you, like, imagine you work that hard. Like, if someone's trying to take something away from you, bro, then you'll be working your ass off, bro. That's, but that's what he says, bro. That's why, like, I've been telling him, like, we've been trying to get to it. And I'm trying to bring it to the next level, like yeah. the way you did. I've been like legit. One of my goals for this year was to give the podcast a huge upgrade, so that we can, you know, feel at a more comfortable level. Mm-hmm. You know, we start with the mics. And I was gonna say, look at y'all. Y'all got, got three mics. Mixer. Y'all got a new mixer. I want to have new, uh, different camera angles, like where it's one, you know, one right, one just closer, for you. Yeah. You know, not just like a a one shot kind of deal. Right. I want, bro. I'm, I'm telling you, man. We, but little, y'all gonna get there. Little it's, by it's, little, man, we gonna. It's go, the bro. mentality that really counts, bro. Like, and it's patience. You gotta know that. It just take time. You gotta know that your new mics and your other camera and this and that is not gonna come tomorrow. Maybe not next week. Maybe not next month. Maybe not this year. Mm. But it's gonna come. It's Yo, gonna man, come. That's what I struggle. With it depends most. on y'all when you when you make it a thing. You feel me? Like, if y'all want a camera in a week, y'all gonna figure it out. You feel me? And then you know what I'm saying. So it's really just. Putting your head down, bro, and just tunnel vision, bro. Just going OD, like OD, OD, OD. Like, that's really what I've been doing the past three years. It's just my head's down. I'm making music and I'm not stopping, bro. Like, someone's trying to take it away from me. Facts. Literally. And it's going to be like that. That's what we're here for, bro. Yo, bro. I think this was a great episode, dog. Yo. A great way to come back. I can say that for sure. Facts, bro. Yo. Facts. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you right now, with the conversation we just had, if you're not, if you're, if you're, if you're not a fan of my boy right here, bro, then you're fucking slacking on God. <laughs> and I'm telling you right now, you got to follow him on every type of platform that there yeah, is. Man. Known to man. Yo, Donald, bro, let them know where, where to find you, bro, on all social media, bro. On Twitter, just Donald Grunge. I got my own out name, you know what I'm saying? You know how it'd be hard for that. Yeah. So just at Donald Grunge, Instagram, someone stole it. So it's underscore Donald Grunge and everything else, Apple Music, all that. Just search up Donald Grunge, Donald, G-R-U-N-G-E. <laughs> Donald ladies and gentlemen, you got to stream in Gleam. We trust. I'm you telling you because that shit is bumping. Bump that shit in the car. Like you said, break your fucking mom's speakers. Cause you check dig. out Cowboy Talks too. Cowboy Talks, podcast, Banger. bro. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, this man is working hard. He's making a lot of noise. Chelsea bread. Chelsea fucking bread. I can't be more proud of this dude. And I'm telling you, man, it's been an amazing one. And I'm glad we came back with this dude. I hope you guys love the trailer we did. A little, you know, a little, you know, a little, little active skills. You know what I mean? fun that we wanted to have, bro. Mm. We had that idea. Thanks. Happy we got to do it with our boy. Uh, yeah, dog, my yo. acting skills. You yeah. gonna see him? You seen him. You seen him. You yeah. seen how he took off the mask. He was like... <laughs> but yo, Jason, kick it off, bro. Yo, let's get into the messy moment. Messy moment. Messy moment. Messy, messy, messy moment. moment. Oh man, ladies and gentlemen, I fucking told you this was gonna be legendary. Man, look, you're my fucking guy, bro. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for taking the time to come on the show, bro. It no means a lot to us, bro. Like you know, yeah, you know, this, this is, this is our dream. You know, what I'm saying, 
and and I'm happy you came on. Especially Hope you had a great time. You have me, to of have you come out to us and want to be on our yeah, show. Bro, that's, yeah, bro. That shit meant a lot to us, bro. Cause like you know, what I mean, you're making a lot of noise. Hell yeah, yeah you've been working hard bro, as shit. When Appreciate I seen you. you, bro, when I first seen you, bro, I was like, oh shit. The, the first thing you said was like, yo, <laughs> a superstar, <laughs> like a superstar. Said. You know what I mean? Hell and yeah. you know, like you know, have you hit us up and shit means a lot to us, bro. So I thank you, bro. Thank hey, you I appreciate so much, you, man. man. Like I said, follow him on all, all types of platforms. He's a fucking piece. They jump, working mad hard. And I'm telling you, if you, bro, just fucking, just follow this guy. He's fucking, <laughs> buy his fucking merch. Do whatever the fuck you got to do to support this dude because he's, he's yes, fucking sir. grinding. But yo, ladies and gentlemen, we're in the messy moment. Messy moment is a time where we can reflect and we dive into this crazy ass conversation we have with Grunge. And I'm telling you, this is a part where we can highlight something that we really liked. We talk about our favorite part. We talk about something we didn't even get to talk about. You know what I mean? Just bring it up here. It's a great time. It's the ending credits, as we say. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'll start. I'll just say, yo, my messy moment had to be when this dude explained how he got his name. Because I am t- I was thinking, like, I'm, you know, I'm thinking something simple or something. But to have it be like, yo, Kurt Cobain's middle name right. is Donald. And then he made grunge music, connected it together. Because that's like, you know, one of his inspirations. I was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and, you'll, you know, you see it on the show how Especially my reaction was. Especially being Kurt Cobain. Yeah, because that's, right. that's just so artsy, bro. And it's so, like... It's so poetic. It's so it was beautiful, bro. Right. It was beautiful to hear. Like, Thank bro, you, I was bro. like, bro, it felt like like your words were were creating like a Picasso painting. <laughs> yeah. That's how beautiful that shit was. Damn, and man. It hit me, bro. And that's just that, bro. dope as shit, bro. So whenever I say your name, I'll be like, yo, this is fucking dope. Right. Piece. You know what I mean? So that's just my messy moment, ladies and gentlemen. Right, I'm gonna go next. I think my messy moment, if this whole experience was being able to make that video. That with grunge and with fucking Vic. My boy's the next Denzel. Yo, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, because, you know, we we like to have fun, but we've been doing podcasts, which is the interview shit. But I like producing shit. I like making things. I like I like art, too. You know what I mean? I want to be artistic with yeah, my shit. Yeah, me too. We're, we're some it, creative ass it, dudes, we, man. We're creative, but I feel like sometimes this doesn't give us a chance to be super creative and we don't actually do it for ourselves. Right. So we got to do it and we got to do it with my boy. Grunge over here, bro, and and you know that's awesome Chelsea shit right there, bro. You did. It came out yeah. dope. It came out dope, man. Yeah. Shit, I, it, I mean, it's not put together, but I know it came out dope. You know. So, Me too. I'm happy to have you. This is an honor to have you on, bro. Thank you. Keep bro. doing Appreciate your thing, you, bro. Man. Yo, I know you're gonna keep keep grinding. I'm not. I don't need to tell you. You're gonna keep doing nah, it. Nah, you so, know the vibe. Yo, yo, it's good he, to hear. He hops on at seven and not strong Saturday, bro. Oh, you all hop on at seven. So yeah. we're definitely gonna oh, be, we're there. Gonna be there for yeah, sure. Facts. Saturday, we're gonna be there, bro. We're gonna be supporting you. We're gonna Thank be singing you, your songs, bro. Yo, no the vibes. Keep doing your shit, bro. No the vibes. I think um, it's called messy moment. That's yeah, exactly yeah. Yeah. Moment. yeah. Mine was definitely the religion thing. Um, I I just I want everyone to view me like I view me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And view themselves as highly as I view myself, you know, because mm-hmm. I think it's important to love yourself and to trust yourself and have faith in yourself and just know that whatever you want to work out is going to work out in your favor as long as you work hard. Mm, beautiful, so, bro. That nice. was my favorite part. Word, bro. Beautiful. I love that shit. Ladies and gentlemen, the saddest. Real, real, real quick, oh, real quick. Oh. I, off of what he said, he said uh, that he got to show himself. That's what I want for this show. That like, legit. That's what I say whenever somebody asks, "Yo, what's the show about?" Yeah, we talk about anything and everything. But I, I want it to really be a place where people like you who don't get to express themselves fully, like through only their music, right. like, where they can come and ex- express themselves in a way that you couldn't anywhere else. Exactly. Other than right here, I love that, bro. Relax, bro. That's a fact, and I love that you said that. Shit made me feel good right now. Thank bro. you, bro. Ass, bro. It, same here, bro. Cause this. There's a lot of artists that are like that that can't express themselves in the way they want to, mm. and like a lot of people, they before they meet me, they think I'm mean. I have a straight face. Yeah, I don't yeah. say much. Yeah. But I'm really a down to earth guy. Chill ass dude. Chill ass dude, you know man. I'm feeling? telling you, bro. Five minutes into knowing this dude, we were making a fucking, we were making that video, dog. We, right. We, we, we put him, we put ready him in the go. costume, bro. And he ready was just go. down. I fuck with that one. Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so that shit was dope. But yo, ladies and gentlemen, it's the saddest time of the show. It's the time when you get the tissues and you start crying because it's the end. Check you later. Check you later. See ya. Hey. And it's off.